Do you feel like you don't speak enough Afrikaans? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, how's your mother? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about well-being and ask how someone is doing. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Conversation About Family Well-Being PDF cheat sheet for free. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Who is your ma? Say it's okay. Once more with the English translation. Who is your ma? How's your mother? Say it's okay. She's fine. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, How's your mother? That's... Who is your ma? Listen to it again. Who is your ma? Who is your ma? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Say is State of well being. She is state of well being in English. For example, she's fine. Say is okay. Say is okay. Here are a few expressions related to well-being that you can use with this pattern. Great. Fantastis. Fantastis. Fine. Okay. Okay. So-so. Sua-sua. Sua-sua. Sad. Hartzier. Hartzier. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Who is your ma? Say as fantastis. Who is your ma? Say as suesua. Who is your ma? Say as hartzier. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, How's your mother? Who is your ma? Imagine she's great. Do you remember how to say great? Fantastis. Fantastis. Say, she's great. Say, as fantastis. Now, answer the question saying, she's great. Who is your ma? Say as fantastis. Now imagine she's so so. Do you remember how to say so so? Sua sua. Sua sua. Say she's so so. Say as sua sua. Now, answer the question saying she's so-so. 
Who is your ma? Say a swa swa. Now imagine she's sad. Do you remember how to say sad? Hartzier. Hartzier. Say she's sad. Say as Hartzier. Now. Answer the question saying she's sad. Who is your ma? Say as Hartzier. In this lesson, you learn new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about well being. You're now able to talk about how someone is feeling like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell me how you are today. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Christine and I'm here to do some Afrikaans with you today in today's lesson, 10 ways to save the planet, which is super appropriate because we all know it's Earth Day coming up on the 22nd of April. So get ready to learn what you can do to put in your part and let's save the planet together. Harvin, Harvin, to recycle. Harvin, to recycle. Dit is baie goed om te harvin. It is very good to recycle. It is very good to recycle. We all know it's really easy, but so many people don't do it, and we don't know why. All you need to do is when you have a plastic bottle, a glass bottle, a can of Coke, just put it in a separate pile into your rubbish and then take it to the right bins. You don't have to do all the hard work of sorting through everything or actually putting it through the machine. Someone else does that for you. So you really do have the easy part, just Put in a little bit of extra effort and don't just dump it in the rubbish bin with all the other gross food that you put in there. Vrijwilliger. Vrijwilliger. To volunteer. Vrijwilliger. To volunteer. It can buy a tijd vat om a vrijwilliger te wees. It can take a lot of time to be a volunteer. It can take a lot of time, but just imagine how much time you spend every day watching Netflix or series that yeah, they're good, they're funny, and they let you relax, but what a better way to spend your extra time than to just put some hours in volunteering every day, making a real difference to something or someone, and you can even get so much out of it yourself, like, you'll feel so much better, and it's just, it's such a great way, just put some hours in, put even some minutes in, just volunteer at least once a week or something, or even once a month, um, it's just, it's such a warming experience, and you should really try to be a vrijwilliger every now and then. Beskerm. Beskerm. To protect. Beskerm. To protect. Ons moet ons planeet beskerm tegen ons self. We have to protect our planet against ourselves. Sadly, we all know this is so true. We are the bad ones to this beautiful earth of ours. We're the ones that put cars and houses and roads and all these things that are ruining our beautiful Earth's environment. So we need to start doing things, anything little, like being a vrijwilliger or being a little bit more active in our recycling to just beskerm our planet. Hergebruik. Hergebruik. To reuse. And another thing we can do is hergebruik. To reuse. Ons kan baie van ons plastic hergebruik. We can reuse some of our plastic. It's so easy, like I said before, to just put your plastic on a separate pile. But what an even better and quirky and very cute way is to re reuse that plastic. I certainly do all the time. Every little yogurt pot I have in the mornings or like a big bottle of water that is quite a cool bottle, nice shape, nice pattern or something. Do something new, like check up on Pinterest. Just Google in there, 
how to reuse a bottle and it comes up with millions of cool examples of what you can do. Make some cool plant pots, make some watering systems for your herbs or literally anything. I recently made some cool tables out of old wood pieces that I had. I don't know why but it's really easy to reuse things and plastic even better because you know plastic's not so great so if you can reuse it in a quirky cool way you don't have to buy a plant pot you can make one win-win bevar bevar to conserve bevar to conserve die natuur moet bevar word nature needs to be conserved we do, like I said before, we need to protect our planet, but we also need to conserve our planet. Make sure there's always some greenery around you. Make sure you support that local park or the gardens in the, next to the street and don't throw your rubbish there or make sure no one builds a house on a nice, beautiful mountain. We need to conserve our nature, conserve our animals and just make sure it's still there for our children and our grandchildren. People say these things all the time, but it's so true. You need to make sure that the future will still be able to have this beautiful world that we're living in right now. Om eco-friendelijke producten te gebruik. Om eco-friendelijke producten te gebruik. To use eco-friendly products. Om eco-friendelijke producten te gebruik. To use eco-friendly products. A good way is om eco-friendly products to gebruik. A good way is to use eco-friendly products. What better way? I mean, don't use them bad straws that they hand out at the takeaway that you got. Don't ask for that extra pair of plastic fork and spoon when you go buy the burger on after a night out or something, or even just at home. Try to use things that you can reuse again. Use glass things that you can wash instead of things that you can throw away. Store things in old butter thingies instead of buying Tupperware and putting it in there. If you reuse things or use products that are eco-friendly like bamboo or glass or all these things that aren't going to contribute to ruining our environment, it's such an easy way to feel good about the things that you use and put in yourself. Om fiets te rai. Om fiets te rai. To ride a bike. Om fiets te rai. To ride a bike. Om fiets te rai spaar geld. Riding a bike saves money. It really does. You don't have to pay for petrol, you don't have to pay for car insurance, you don't have to pay for any of those things. All you have to pay for is a helmet, some little lights, maybe a bell and your bike and then voila, you're right there, you've got your exercise in for the day, you're not contributing to pollution and you feel better. People smile at you as you drive past and you get to work with a smile on your face because you have those endorphins pumping. Just ride a bike. It's better for you, it's better for the environment. Win, 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 like I always say. <laughs> Om te gee vir die omgeving. Om te gee vir die Omgeving. To care for the environment. Om te gee vir die omgeving. To care for the environment. Meer mense kan omgee vir die omgeving. More people can care for the environment. If we teach our children to, if we stick to all the rules that we've just been through, then yes, maybe we can encourage and inspire others to be like us, to do the same things, to be those earthy people that makes everyone cringe a little bit but also have so much pride for because they're the ones that after all are they're the ones that can make a difference in this world. Om energie te spaar. Om energie te spaar. To save energy. Om energie te spaar. To save energy. Daar is baie maniere om energie te spaar. There are many ways to save energy. There's many ways to save energy. For example, it's so easy when you leave your bedroom, switch the light off while you're brushing your teeth, close the tap while you're brushing and then just quickly rinse your toothbrush again afterwards. We're not just talking about electricity here. We're talking about anything that you can save, anything that's left on when it doesn't really need to be. Switch the TV off, switch the radio off if you're not really listening, if it's just a little bit of background noise. Saving energy 
can save so much. Not only does it save you money, but it'll also save all the extra things going into the air that we don't even know about. So just try, switch the light off next time you leave the room or like I said, don't leave taps running. Water is so scarce. Um, if you're not used to it being scarce, come live in Cape Town. <laughs> um a boom te plant. Um a boom te plant. To plant a tree. Um a boom te plant. To plant a tree. Kinders geniet dit om a boom te plant. Children enjoy planting trees. Not only children. I also love planting trees. What a nice way to add to give back to our mother earth people don't plant trees often enough people cut them down left right and center make me a house i need some wood cut me down a forest no it's so easy just go to the local nursery buy a little plant buy a little tree go find a piece of ground and stick it in it's so easy and it helps our earth and it helps the air we're breathing be a little bit more clear Planting trees is such an enriching experience, so much more than people think. So if you have children, if you have a niece or a nephew or your friend has a baby, not a baby, a child, um, take them to plant a tree. Watch how much they enjoy it. Watch how much you enjoy it. And then try and make it a ritual. Do it every week. Do it every month. Do it every year. It doesn't have to be that often, but if every person plants a tree, think about the big difference that we can all make. So we've reached the end of today's lesson, 10 ways to save the planet in Afrikaans. I hope uh, with the 22nd coming up, with Earth Day around the corner, I hope that you're going to put some of those things in practice, please. Let me know in the comments below if there's something that you resonate with. If you've planted a tree lately, let me know, please, so we can all congratulate you and everyone can know that you're a great human. What about some other tips to recycle, other things that we can do to reuse our plastic? If you like things I said, if you didn't like things I said, Please click, follow, subscribe, do all those things and visit AfrikaansPod101.com and keep learning Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 Core Afrikaans Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is... Rugsak Backpack Rugsak Rugsak Backpack my rugsack is so zwaar. My backpack is so heavy. My rugsack is so zwaar. Potluit luit. Pencil leg. Potluit luit. Potluit luit. Pencil leg. Die winkel hou een groot verskynde in potluit luit hervillings en voorraad. The store stocks a wide assortment of pencil lead refills. Die winkel hou een groot verscheidenheid potlood, lood, hervillings in voorraad. Gom, glue, gom, gom, glue. Smeer gom op die papier. Apply glue to the paper. Smeer gom op die papier. Sakrekenaar. Calculator. Sak rekenaar. Sak rekenaar. Calculator. Ons kan nie een sak rekenaar gedurende die toets gebruik nie. We can't use a calculator during the test. Ons kan nie een sak rekenaar gedurende die toets gebruik nie. Potlood skerpmaker. Pencil sharpener. Potlood skerpmaker. Potlood skerpmaker. Pencil sharpener. 
Ek het een potloodskerpmaker. I have a pencil sharpener. Ek het een potloodskerpmaker. Weit. Wide. Weit. Weit. Wide. Die rivier is weit en diep. The river is wide and deep. Die rivier is weit en diep. Small. Narrow. Small. Small. Narrow. Die man staan op a small pikey. The man is standing on a narrow path. Die man staan op a small pikey. Hard. 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 A schoolpad has a hard top for protection. A turtle has a hard shell for protection. A schoolpad has a hard top for protection. Sag, soft. Sag, sag, soft. Fluweel's texture is always sag. Velvet's texture is always soft. Fluweel's tekstuur is altyd sag. Appelkoos, apricot. Appelkoos, appelkoos. Apricot. Ek hou van appelkoos ap. I love apricot juice. Ek hou van appelkoos sap. Pineapple, pineapple. 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 Hierdie pineapple is nog groen. This pineapple is still unripe. Hierdie pineapple is nog groen. Span spek. Melon. Span spek. Span spek. Melon. Dit is een weile sê dat ek enige span spek gehad het. It's been a while since I had any melon. Dit is a weile sedert ek enige spanspek gehad het. Fy, fig, fy, fy, fig. Ek het fy a slaai bestel. I ordered fig salad. Ek het fy a slaai bestel. Pruim. Plum. Pruim. Pruim. Plum. Pruimedante is gedroogde pruime. Prunes are dried plums. Pruimedante is gedroogde pruime. Plomkool. Cauliflower. Plomkool. Plomkool. Cauliflower. Ons eet blomkool gedoop in slaaisaus. We eat cauliflower dipped in ranch dressing. Ons eet blomkool gedoop in slaaisaus. Kool. Cabbage. Kool. Kool. Cabbage. Kool het a sterk reuk. Cabbage has a strong smell. Kool het a sterk reek. Selderij. Celery. Selderij. Selderij. Celery. Selderij is uitstekende bron van vitamin K. Celery is a great source of vitamin K. Selderij is uitstekende bron van vitamin K. Eiervrug. Eggplant. Eiervrug. Eiervlug, eggplant. Ek maak graag gevulde eiervlug met rijst in die oond. I like to make stuffed eggplant with rice in the oven. Ek maak graag gevulde eiervlug met rijst in die oond. Boeinkiesvruit, beansprout. Boeinkiesvruit, boeinkiesvruit. Beansprout. Kan ek een boeinkiesvruit slaai kry? Can I get a bean sprout salad? Kan ek a boinkie sprout slaai kry? Ongeluk. Accident. Ongeluk. 
ongeluk. Accident. A vrou het a ongeluk op die straat gehad. A woman had an accident on the street. A vrou het a ongeluk op die straat gehad. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Tot ziens! Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking on the phone. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for someone on the phone and to put someone on hold. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Making a Phone Call PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hallo, ek wil graag met die persoon in beheer praat. Okay, net a oomlik. Once more with the English translation. Hallo, ek wil graag met die persoon in beheer praat. Hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Okay, net a oomlik. Okay, just a moment. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say hello on the phone. That's... Hello. Hello. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, I'd like to speak with person. The pattern is... Ek wil graag met... Person. Praat. This Afrikaans sentence literally translates as, I want really with person speak, but it means, I'd like to speak with person. For example, hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Hello, ek wil graag met die persoon in beheer. Praat. Hallo, ek wil graag met die persoon in beheer praat. Now, how do you answer this question? Okay, net a oomlik. Okay, just a moment. Listen to it again. Okay, net a oomlik. Okay, net a oomlik. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk on the phone. The person in charge. Die persoon in beheer. Die persoon in beheer. A sales representative. Verkoopsverteenwoordiger. Verkoopsverteenwoordiger. The manager. A bestierder. A bestierder. Customer service. Klientedienst. Klientedienst. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Ek wil graag met een verkoopsverteenwoordiger praat. Oké, okay, net een oomlik. Ek wil graag met een bestierder praat. Oké, okay, net een oomlik. Ek wil graag met cliëntendienst praat. Oké, okay, net een oomlik.
Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'd like to speak with person? Ik wil graag met person. Praat. And how do you answer it? Okay, net op oomlik. Imagine you want to talk to a sales representative. Do you remember how to say a sales representative? Verkoopsverteenwoordiger. Verkoopsverteenwoordiger. Say, I'd like to speak with a sales representative. Ik wil graag met een verkoopsverteenwoordiger praat. Now say you want to talk to a sales representative and answer it. Ik wil graag met een verkoopsverteenwoordiger praat. Oké, okay, net een oomlik. Now, imagine you want to talk to the manager. Do you remember how to say, the manager? A bestierder. A bestierder. Say, I'd like to speak with the manager. Ik wil graag met een bestierder praat. Now say you want to talk to the manager and answer it. Ik wil graag met een bestierder praat. Oké, okay, net een oomlik. Now imagine you want to talk to customer service. Do you remember how to say customer service? Cliëntendienst. Cliëntendienst. Say, I'd like to speak with customer service. Ik wil graag met cliëntendienst praat. Now say you want to talk to customer service and answer it. Ik wil graag met cliëntendienst praat. Oké, okay, net een oomlik. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk on the phone. You're now able to answer the phone like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell us and your fellow learners whom you'd like to call. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 Core Afrikaans Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in the series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned your new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you've learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is help. 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 Help my asseblief. Please help me. Help my asseblief. Leer. Learn. Leer. Leer. Learn. Dit is lekker om Afrikaans te leer met Afrikaans pod101.com. 
It is fun to learn Afrikaans with AfrikaansPod101.com. Dit is lekker om Afrikaans te leer met AfrikaansPod101.com. Skyf. Move. Skyf. Skyf. Move. Kan jy die kar skyf? Could you move the car? Kan jy die kar skyf? 17 17 17 17 17 There are 17 students in my class. In my class there are 17 students. There is 17 students in my class. 18 18 18 18 18 my friend is 18 years old. My friend is 18 years old. My friend is 18 years old. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. There is 19 books here. There are 19 books here. There is 19 books here. 20 20 20 20 Hij is my vriend al vir 20 jaar. He has been my friend for 20 years. Hij is my vriend al vir 20 jaar. Nek 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 N ek Nek Daar is 'n vreemde knop op my nek. There is a strange lump on my neck. Daar is a vreemde knop op my neck. Gesig. Face. Gesig. Gesig. Face. Kan jy my jou snaakse gesig wees? Can you show me your funniest face? Kan jy my jou snaakse gesig wees? Oor. Ear. Oer. Oer. Ear. Die dokter het in sy oor gekyk. The doctor looked into his ear. Die dokter het in sy oor gekyk. Hare. Hair. Hare. Hare. Hair. Ek wil graag my hare kleur. I would like to dye my hair. Ek wil graag my hare kleur. Berg. Mountain. Berg. Berg. Mountain. Die mense het opbeweeg oor die berg. The people were moving up over the mountain. Die mense het opbeweeg oor die berg. Strand, beach, strand, strand, beach. My strand handdoek is nog nat. My beach towel is still wet. My strand handdoek is nog nat. Reenwoud, rainforest, reenwoud, reenwoud, rainforest. Die Amazone reenwoud is baie groot. The Amazon rainforest is very large. Die Amazone reenwoud is baie groot. Eiland. Island. Eiland. Eiland. Island. Aruba is a mooi eiland. Aruba is a beautiful island. Aruba is a mooi eiland. Woordeboek. Dictionary. Woordeboek. Woordeboek. Dictionary. Ek gebruik per ty keer woorde wat nie in die woordeboek is nie. I sometimes use words that are not in the dictionary. Ek gebruik per ty keer woorde wat nie in die woordeboek is nie. Blow. Blue. 
blow, blow, blue. Hij het a blow car gekies. He chose a blue car. Hij het a blow car gekies. Geel, yellow. Geel, geel, yellow. Zij het a mooi geel blom gekry. She received a beautiful yellow flower. Zij het a mooi geel blom gekry. Oranje. Orange. Oranje. Oranje. Orange. Sy ginsling kleer is oranje. His favorite color is orange. Sy ginsling kleer is oranje. Kleer. Color. Kleer. Kleer. Color. Ek het die verkeerde kleur gekry. I got the wrong color. Ek het die verkeerde kleur gekry. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you will need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens! Did you download your free PDF cheat sheets yet? These conversation cheat sheets are an easy way to speak more because you get cheat sheets for conversational topics like the weather, family, hobbies, and much more. And inside, you'll learn common questions and answers that you'd use in conversations, as well as tons of vocabulary. Don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description to get access. Reading in a foreign language is great, but a big challenge related to reading is that you often need a high level of fluency before it gets really fun. And if a book isn't fun, then you're not going to want to read it. The entire point of sitting down with a book is to enjoy it and have a good time being absorbed in the story or learning the information. And that's just not going to happen if you need to look up every second word. It'll take you out of the story, and it will feel like a chore, like an assignment from school where you have to read the book for a class. But there is a resource that you might not know about that can really help your skills, bilingual books. In this video, we'll look at how to supercharge your vocabulary with bilingual reading. This is a simple solution that will make reading, especially at the beginner levels, easier and fun. These are books that have your target language on the left page and your native language on the right. But how do you use it? Well, it's all in the name. You read a book in two languages at once, the language that you're learning plus the language that you're fluent in. There are a few different formats for bilingual books, but the most common one is the one previously mentioned. You have a book that has your foreign language on one side and your native language on the other. It's also possible to find stories that are presented bilingually, paragraph by paragraph. The principle is the same, but the information is just in more bite-sized chunks, so your eyes need to travel less to read both texts. The great thing about bilingual reading is that you can quickly switch between languages, and the translation is presented to you, so you don't need to try to distinguish between the 10 variants of a word that your dictionary offers, which brings us to the main advantage. Bilingual reading is great for building your initial vocabulary. When you first try reading in a new language, you'll probably find that you need a relatively high level of fluency before you can make a strong connection with the words on the page. Reading is a lot of fun if you already know about 80% of the words, as you can guess the meaning of another 15% from context and then look up the remaining few words you do not understand. But if you're starting out, you might know only 10% of the words. That's where bilingual reading can help a lot. Here's a way to use a bilingual book. Read a sentence first in your target language. See if you understand it. If you do, think about the meaning of some of the key words. Then, quickly glance on the other side of the page and check the translation. This way, you'll be able to have fun reading and learn contextual vocabulary at the same time. Let's look at why it works well if you're learning a language at home. If you're taking language classes, then your teacher sometimes supports you in a similar way to the translated page. When you're reading a text with your teacher, you can ask them questions whenever you do not understand something. They'll give you a translation quickly and can share other ways in which a word can be used. But if you're learning from home, you don't have that advantage. Bilingual reading offers the same benefits as you can quickly check the translation of a sentence and see what each word means. 
The main goal of bilingual books is to bridge the gap between the beginner and intermediate to more advanced levels. They can help set you up to read real books without any translations. Some language purists might recommend you read only stories that were originally written in your target language, but any book you enjoy is best to encourage your studies. Use bilingual reading to improve your vocabulary and reading comprehension skills until you get so good that you don't need it anymore. It doesn't matter what language you're learning. Bilingual reading works for every language. The principles of language learning don't change, only the implementation does. You also don't really need too much knowledge at the start. If you like a real challenge, then you could even start reading some simple bilingual stories without any prior experience in a language. However, just as with other language programs and courses, the more people who speak a specific language, the easier it'll be to find bilingual books. Bilingual reading can be a great addition to your normal study routine, and it can give you an idea of where you are in your studies and what goals to consider. But for even more ways to learn a new language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man in a vrouw gesels. Wat gaan hulle eerste doen? Wat wil jy vandag doen? Ek wil a fliek gaan kyk. Goed. Ek wil een bofbalwedstrijd op TV kyk. Ek wil ook gaan inkoopies doen. Die bofbalwedstrijd gaan een uur vanmiddag begin. Goed, kom ons gaan kyk dan eerst die fliek en dan kan jy die bofbalwedstrijd kyk. Goed so, dan sal ons in die aand gaan inkoopies doen. Wat gaan hulle eerste doen? A man en a vrou gesels. Wat gaan hulle eerste doen? Wat wil jy vandag doen? Ek wil a fliek gaan kyk. Goed, ek wil a bofbalwedstrijd op TV kyk. Ek wil ook gaan inkoopies doen. Die bofbalwedstrijd gaan een uur vanmiddag begin. Goed, kom ons gaan kyk dan eerst die fliek en dan kan jy die bofbalwedstrijd kyk. Goed so. Dan sal ons in die aand gaan inkoopies doen. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. You're finished with your meal and you're looking at the dessert menu. What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? The menu shows that you can choose from coffee or tea. Coffee, tea. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running?
On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Publieke vakantiedag, derde zondag van elke maand. Trying to learn Afrikaans? Picture this. What if you had a simple, step-by-step -step roadmap that you could easily follow and learn in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way. You'd never get lost, you'd always know what to study next, and you'd finally reach your goal of learning your target language. Well, you get just that with the new learning paths at AfrikaansPod101.com. It's your simple, step-by-step -step roadmap to mastering language, designed by real language teachers. Access it right now. Go to AfrikaansPod101.com and sign up for your free lifetime account. How does it work? Simply set your learning level and choose the learning path and lessons that are right for you. You can explore all of the paths that you can take and select the ones that fit your goals best. Then, click on Study Now to start learning and Learning Paths will do the rest. Learning Paths guides you through our massive library of audio and video lessons, so you're never confused about where to start and where to go next. Learning a language is that simple. With Learning Paths, you get a simple, step-by-step -step roadmap to mastering a language designed by real language teachers. Access it right now. Go to AfrikaansPod101.com and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A vrouw en a man gesels. Wat het die vrouw gister gedoen? Dit het gister baie hard gereen. Hoe het jy terug huis toe gegaan? Daar was baie mense op die bus, so ek kon toe nie opklim nie en ek soek toe vir a taxi. So jy het met die taxi gerei? Nee, daar was geen lee taxis nie. Wat, so jy het terug geloop? Is dit nie ver nie? Nee, ek het so halfpad geloop en toe onthou ek dat my vriendse huis daar nabij is so ek het toe daar geblei. O, ek sien, jy is gelukkig, ek moes al die pad huis toe stap. Wat het die vrou gister gedoen? A vrou en a man gesels. Wat het die vrou gister gedoen? Dit het gister baie hard gereen. Hoe het jy terug huis toe gegaan? Daar was baie mense op die bus, so ek kon toe nie opklim nie en ek soek toe vir a taxi. So jy het met die taxi gerei? Nee, daar was geen lee taxis nie. Wat, so jy het terug geloop? Is dit nie ver nie? Nee, ek het so halfpad geloop en toe onthou ek dat my vriendse huis daar nabij is so ek het toe daar geblei. O, ek sien, jy is gelukkig, ek moes al die pad huis toe stap. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. When learning a new language, many people are scared of making mistakes and feeling embarrassed, but mistakes can be your biggest asset when learning a new language. Mistakes are not something to be afraid of. They're to be learned from and remembered. In this video, we'll look at how mistakes can help you learn faster. Part one, how mistakes help you remember. Think back to when you were in grade school. 
think of a mistake you made in front of everyone in the class. This is probably easy to remember for most people. You were likely very embarrassed. When we make mistakes, we often immediately look around to see other people's reactions. Some people are compassionate, other people not so compassionate, and we tend to notice the negative reactions a little more. We remember the people who might be laughing at us or smiling. We remember these embarrassed feelings, sometimes for a very long time. Sometimes these experiences affect us for years. The same thing is true with language mistakes. If you make a language mistake in public, you're not likely to forget it. It could be a simple vocabulary word mix-up, or a silly grammar mistake that changes the entire meaning of what you want to say. In moments where you make mistakes like these, though, you'll find that most people won't be bothered by your mistake. Some people might even help you correct it. But the feeling of embarrassment might remain. Use your mistakes as moments to remember and look back on. Use them to make sure you don't make the same mistake again. Mistakes can happen in a classroom setting, between a teacher and a group of students, at a public place, between a customer and a business, or even between friends. Regardless of where the mistake happens, it's common to feel a bit embarrassed. The key is to use memories of mistakes as reminders. Of course, no one likes feeling embarrassed. Think about what you learned from the experience and make sure to correct your mistake for the future. Making mistakes and seeing that it is okay to make mistakes is essential for continued language learning. It's normal to fail at first. After that, continue to practice and repeat the correct words, grammar structures, and pronunciations. Practice and repetition are what will really help you learn the language in the end. So accept that you'll make mistakes and keep practicing your language skills. Soon you'll be speaking with greater confidence. Part two, how you can apply this to your language learning. Conversational skill, whether in your target language or in your native language, is something that needs to be practiced. It's like with a martial art or a sport. You can imagine yourself doing a kick or trying to score a goal, but actually taking action is a lot different than reading about it, and you're probably not going to be able to do it without practice. With conversations, you can go up to someone and say a phrase, but that might not lead to a conversation. Without practice, it's difficult to continue conversations. As you practice, you'll make mistakes, yes, but through those mistakes, you'll grow. Here are three tips to help you work through your mistakes. One, you have to speak and accept that you'll make mistakes. Two, create opportunities to speak. And three, build on your experiences. Remember the mistakes you've made and actively work to correct them. Keep these tips in mind so you can embrace your mistakes, practice your speaking skills, and continue moving forward in your studies. Don't be afraid of mistakes, they can be a huge help. And for even more ways to improve your language skills, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time, bye. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A vrouw praat met a man wat vir a uitgekontrakteerde drukwerkmaatskapai werk oor a brochure vir a nieuwe product. Wanneer is die spaardatum vir die eerste ontwerpkonsept vir die brochure? Ons het besluit om die nieuwe product 15 oktober van stapel te stuur en ons wil u graag vra om die brochure te maak. Baie dankie. Ons is beslis opgewonde om te help met die project. Kan u ons een beetje meer vertel oor die skedule? Wanneer het u alles nodig? Wel, met een afneming van die tijd wat ons nodig het vir die druk, wil ons graag die brochures hee tegen die einde van september. Zou dit vir u moeilijk wees om ons eerste ontwerp tegen middel augustus te gee? Wel, ons wil graag drie ontwerpopties gee vir die aanvankelijke concept en dan kies u die beste vir u concept. Dan maak ons die finale ontwerp gebaseer op u keuze. So het sal baie nuttig wees as u twee meer weke gee om voor te berei op die stadium. Hmm, oké. Okay. 
Misschien zal een maand genoeg wees om een van die onderwerpen wat ik gemaakt het te kies en om te besluit op die uiteindelijke onderwerp. Oké, okay, ons gaan op ie reken. Je is in goeie handen. Ons ontwerpspan is die beste. Baie dankie. Wanneer is die spaardatum voor die eerste ontwerpconcept voor die brochure? Een vrouw praat met een man wat voor een uitgecontracteerde drukwerkmaatschappij werk oor een brochure voor een nieuwe product. Wanneer is die spaardatum voor die eerste ontwerpconcept voor die brochure? Ons het besluit om die nieuwe product 15 oktober van stapel te stuur en ons wil u graag vra om die brochure te maak. Baie dankie, ons is beslis opgewonde om te helpen met die project. Kan u ons een beetje meer vertel oor die skedule? Wanneer het u alles nodig? Wel, met een afneming van die tijd wat ons nodig het vir die druk, wil ons graag die brochures hee tegen die einde van september. Zou dit vir u moeilijk wees om ons eerste ontwerp tegen middel augustus te gee? Wel, ons wil graag drie ontwerpopties gee vir die aanvankelijke concept en dan kies u die beste vir u concept. Dan maak ons die finale ontwerp gebaseer op uw keuze. So het sal baie nuttig wees as u twee meer weke gee om voor te berei op die stadium. Hmm, oké. Okay. Misschien zal een maand genoeg wees om een van die onderwerpen wat u gemaakt het te kies en om te besluit op die uiteindelijke onderwerp. Oké, okay, ons gaan op u reken. U is in goeie handen. Ons ontwerpspan is die beste. Baie dankie. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A vrou is bezig om met haar haarstylis te praat. Hoe wil sy haar haare verander? Hallo, kan ek jou help? Hi, ek het om drie ure afspraak. Ach ja. Welkom, je Rietje. Volg mij alsjeblieft. Wat kan ik vandaag voor u doen? Ik wil graag mijn haarstijl een beetje veranderen. Oké, okay. hoe lang wil jij dit he? Omtrent schouwerlengte. Oké, okay. en wat van jouw kuif? Hou mijn kuif. Raag het af of naar die kant toe gekom? Een beetje naar die kant toe. Wat er kant? Misschien een beetje links van die middel. Goed zo. Ons sal begin met de shampoo. Volg my asjeblief. Hoe wil sy haar haare verander? Een vrouw is bezig om met haar haarstylis te praat. Hoe wil sy haar haare verander? Hallo, kan ik jou help? Hi, ek het om drie ure afspraak. Ach ja, welkom je Rietje. Volg mij alsjeblieft. Wat kan ik vandaag voor u doen? Ik wil graag mijn haarstijl een beetje veranderen. Oké, okay. hoe lang wil jij dit hee? Omtrent schouwerlengte. Oké, okay. en wat van jouw kuif? Hou mijn kuif. Raag het af of naar die kant toe gekom? Een beetje naar die kant toe. Wat er kant? Misschien een beetje links van die middel. Goed zo. Ons zal beginnen met de shampoo. Volg my asjeblief. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 core Afrikaans words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. 
With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get going. First is vervelig, boring, vervelig, vervelig, boring. My werk is vervelig. My job is boring. My werk is vervelig. Opwindende, exciting, opwindende, opwindende. Exciting. Ek het opwindende film gesien. I saw an exciting movie. Ek het a opwindende film gesien. Belangrijk. Important. Belangrijk. Belangrijk. Important. Dit is een belangrijke deel van my geloof. It is an important part of my religion. Dit is een belangrijke deel van my geloof. Kredietkaart. Credit card. Kredietkaart. Kredietkaart. Credit card. Kan ek met de kredietkaart betaal? Can I pay with a credit card? Kan ek met a kredietkaart betaal? Sleutel. Key. Sleutel. Sleutel. Key. Die is die sleutel vir die voordeur. This is the key for the front door. Die is die sleutel vir die voordeur. Bestuurderslicensie. Driver's license. Bestuurderslicensie. Bestuurderslicensie. Driver's license. Het jy een bestuurderslicensie? Do you have a driver's license? Het jy een bestuurderslicensie? Bos. Forest. Bos. Be. Os, forest. Tiere bly in die bos. Tigers live in the forest. Tiere bly in die bos. Rivier, river. Rivier, rivier, river. My ouders bly naba on die rivier. My parents live close to the river. My ouders bly nabij aan die rivier. Oceaan. Ocean. Oceaan. Oceaan. Ocean. Die oceaan is mooi en blauw vandag. The ocean is nice and blue today. Die oceaan is mooi en blauw vandag. Meer. Lake. Meer. Hmm, eer, leek. Die swan swim in die meer. The swan is swimming in the lake. Die swan swim in die meer. Document, document. Document, document. Document. Kan jy vir my die nietste document aanstuur? Could you send me the newest document? Kan jy vir my die nietste dokument aanstuur? Rekenaar, computer. Rekenaar, rekenaar, computer. Die rekenaar werk nie. This computer doesn't work. Die rekenaar werk nie. Fax machine. Fax machine. Fax machine. Fax machine. Fax machine. Het jy a fax machine? Do you have a fax machine? Het jy a fax machine? Drukker. 
printer, drukker, drukker, printer. Die drukker is nie baie rasrig nie. The printer has a low noise level. Die drukker is nie baie rasrig nie. Pijzer, mechanical pencil, pijzer, pijzer, mechanical pencil. Ek verkies een mechanische pijzer. I prefer mechanical pencil. Ek verkies een mechanische pijzer. Lineal, ruler, lineal. Lineal ruler. Kan jij voor mij een lineal vind? Can you find me a ruler? Kan jij voor mij een lineal vind? Merker. Maken. Merker. Merker. Maker. Die wit bordmerker is laag op ink. The marker is running low on ink. Die wit bordmerker is laag op ink. Bank. 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 Die bank is rechts. The bank is on the right. Die bank is rechts. Geriefswinkel. Convenience store. Geriefswinkel. Geriefswinkel. Convenience store. Die geriefswinkel is 24 uur oop. The convenience store is open 24 hours. Die geriefswinkel is 24 uur oop. Hospital. 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 My broer is in die hospital. My brother is in the hospital. My broer is in the hospital. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you will need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens. Love these lessons? Want more? You'll find the rest of our three-minute lessons on the website. Sign up for your free lifetime account. You'll unlock the full course in seconds and learn how to read and write in Afrikaans. You also get tons of other audio and video lessons that will get you using the language from your very first lesson and teach you how to read, write, and speak. Plus, you'll get PDF lesson notes, cheat sheets, study tools, and much more. Click the link in the description below and sign up for your free lifetime account. Few things are more discouraging than putting in the work and effort to learn a foreign language, only to not use it for a while and forget a large part of what you studied. Once you have a good handle on a language, it's not hard to practice it so that it stays in the forefront of your mind. In this video, we'll take a look at five practical ways you can make your target language a part of your daily life so that you don't forget it. Number one, use language exchanges. The idea behind a language exchange is that you find someone who fluently speaks your target language and is also interested in learning your native language. During the exchange, you spend half the time speaking in the language you're learning and the other half in the language they're learning. This kind of exchange is a great way to practice your speaking skills and cement the material you've learned into your brain. One great thing about practicing through a language exchange is that your language partner is a fellow language learner. They will be able to sympathize with your struggles and even give you some insightful tips from their own personal experience. Most major cities will have at least one meetup or language club where you can practice languages with people from around the world. But sometimes it can be hard to find people who speak the language you're learning. If you can't find a local exchange or if there are no native speakers in your city, you can connect with native speakers through online language exchanges. There are numerous free sites that allow you to search for users based on country and language and have a text, audio, or video practice session. Number two, immerse yourself digitally. Most phones, laptops, and apps will allow you to change the language of their interface. Why not change it to your target language? 
This simple change may seem small, but it can actually be an effective way to reinforce your use of the language. Your language skills are like a muscle. If you use them on a regular basis, then your skill in the language will be in good shape. The more you use your language skills, the easier it will be to remember things. However, if you go for long stretches without using the language, then you might have a problem. Those linguistic muscles will start to get weak before too long, and you'll notice a drop in your language ability. Simply changing the language on your electronic devices won't equate to any heavy lifting in a foreign language, but it could be comparable to a warm-up or a quick workout. Remember that you probably use electronic devices every day. If you can use at least some of that time thinking in your target language while using them each week, that adds up to a huge amount of time and can keep your knowledge fresh. Number three, teach others a language. You don't have to be an expert in a new language to lend a hand to another language learner. Helping a beginner through the language will not only make you feel good about helping someone out, it will also help you use the language and keep your skills sharp. Remember those language exchanges we talked about? Well, what if you looked for other learners so that you could help them in the language? Don't worry if you don't feel qualified to teach the language. They're not looking to get their PhD in linguistics. Most likely, a new learner would appreciate someone who's been down the road before, someone to show them some common pitfalls and shortcuts. Have you ever been a complete newbie in something and been graciously helped by someone with more experience? Pay it forward and be that expert to someone else. Your language muscles will thank you for it. Number four, keep a journal or blog. Writing out your thoughts in a foreign language is one of the best ways to sharpen your skills. It forces you to take time to construct sentences and it will reveal your weak points very quickly. Journaling is also one of the easiest and cheapest ways to practice. All you need is a pen and a notebook. If you're not the journaling type, don't worry. You don't have to write an autobiography. Simply recounting your day or describing an experience will be enough to get your language juices flowing. The entries can be long, but they don't have to be. This exercise is flexible and can take any shape you want. Try writing short daily entries. You can even post them online for native speakers to correct. This way, you can hold yourself accountable and write regularly. There are several free sites that allow you to post an entry and have it reviewed by native speakers. Number five, entertain yourself in the language. Books, movies, YouTube videos, language learning websites, music, the list goes on. There's an endless supply of media out there, so you're likely to find something that interests you in your target language. Whether you love sports, rock music, or sewing, you're sure to find something to entertain you in your target language. Learning a language is hard, but remembering it doesn't have to be. These ideas are here to help jumpstart your brain. These aren't the only ways to practice your target language either. Do your best to use the language on a daily basis and make it a part of your everyday life. Remember, all languages aren't just spoken, they're lived. And for even more ways to use your target language every day, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time, bye. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 Core Afrikaans Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is... Whipful Hopeful Whipful Whipful Hopeful Ek is hoopvol dat my volgende swimmervakansie baie goed sal wees. I am hopeful that my next summer vacation will be very good. Ek is hoopvol dat my volgende swimmervakansie baie goed sal wees. Diep, 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 de diep, diep. Ingrid Jonkerse gedichte was baie diep en betekenisvol. 
Ingrid Jonker's poems were very deep and meaningful. Ingrid Jonker's gedichte was baie diep en betekenisvol. Flak, shallow. Flak, flak, shallow. Moenie bekommer nie, die water is hier baie flak. Don't worry, the water is very shallow here. Moenie bekommer nie, die water is hier baie flak. Rijk, rich, rijk, rijk, rich. Sy vader is a rijk man. His father is a rich man. Sy vader is a rijk man. Arm, poor. Arm, arm, poor. Baie studente is arm. Many students are poor. Baie studente is arm. Monitor, 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 monitor. Monitor. Hierdie monitor is gebreek. This monitor is broken. Hierdie monitor is gebreek. Sleutelbord. Keyboard. Sleutelbord. Sleutelbord. Keyboard. Hierdie rekenaar het nie een sleutelbord nie. This computer does not have a keyboard. Hier die rekenaar het nie een sleutelbord nie. Oorfone, headphones. Oorfone, oorfone, headphones. Daar die oorfone is baie dier. Those headphones are really expensive. Daar die oorfone is baie dier. Huk, hiccup, huk, huk. Hiccup. Verbeel jou, jy begin te hik en jy kan nie ophou nie. Imagine that you begin to hiccup and can't stop. Verbeel jou, jy begin te hik en jy kan nie ophou nie. Blow Bessie. Blueberry. Blow Bessie. Blow Bessie. Blueberry. Blow Bessies is rond. Blueberries are round. Blow Bessies is rond. Primadant. Prune. Primadant. Primadant. Prune. Primadante is gedroogde prime. Prunes are dried plums. Primadante is gedroogde prime. Veselpaske. Mango. Veesel perske. Veesel perske. Mango. Hoeveel kost daar die veesel perske? How much is that mango? Hoeveel kost daar die veesel perske? Sierlemoen. Lemon. Sierlemoen. Sierlemoen. Lemon. Ek hou van thee met sierlemoen. I like tea with lemon. Ek hou van thee met suurlemoen. Achterstewe. Patoks. Achterstewe. Achterstewe. Patoks. Sy het achter toe geval en hard op haar achterstewe geland. She fell backwards landing hard on her buttocks. Sy het achter toe geval en hard op haar achterstewe geland. Skouwer, shoulder, skouwer, skouwer, shoulder. My rechter skouwer is seer. My right shoulder hurts. My rechter skouwer is seer. Spier, muscle, spier, spier, muscle. As jy gewichte oplig, kan jy jou spiere bou. If you lift weights, you can build your muscles. As jy gewichte oplig, kan jy jou spiere bou. 
bien, bone, bien, b i e n bone, ek, hic stack, biena, I have strong bones, ek, hic stack, biena, bort, beard, bort, b o r t beard. Di man skier sy bord met a vachwe bore skiermis. The man is shaving his beard with a disposable razor. Di man skier sy bord met a vachwe bore skiermis. Patat, sweet potato. Patat, patat, sweet potato. Die patat is heerlik gebak of gebraai. The sweet potato is great, baked or fried. Die patat is heerlik gebak of gebraai. Sampioen, mushroom. Sampioen, sampioen, mushroom. Ek is mal daar oor om sampioene te eet. I love eating mushrooms. Ek is mal daar oor om sampioene te eet. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Tot ziens! You've lost your wallet while riding on a bus. Hoping to get your wallet back, you go to look at a city map to try and locate the lost and found office of the bus company. Where is the lost and found office located? Where is the lost and found office located? The lost and found office is located on the south side of the city, number 12 on the map. Seide kant van die stad, nummer 12 op die kaart. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man and a vrouw praat oor die ontwerp van die bezigheid, se bezigheidskaarkie. Wat er ontwerp besluit hulle op? Ons het een paar nieuwe ontwerpen vir die bezigheidskaarkies. Wat er een denk jy is die beste? Kom ons kyk. Ek denk die bezigheidse naam moet een bykie groter wees. Ok, dan moet het een van hierdie wees. Goed, ek hou van hierdie omdat die bezigheidse naam groot is en aan die boekant. Een van hierdie het spasie vir een foto. Wat denk jy? Hmm, ek denk dit maak seker die tekst een bykie te klein. Ja, die tekst kan dalk een bykie moeilik wees om te lees met die foto. Ok, kom ons vat dan die ander een. Wat er ontwerp besluit hulle op? Een man en een vrou praat oor die ontwerp van die bezigheid, se bezigheidskaarkie. Wat er ontwerp besluit hulle op? Ons het een paar nieuwe ontwerpen vir die bezigheidskaarkies. Wat er een denk jy is die beste? Kom ons kyk. Ek denk die bezigheidse naam moet een bykie groter wees. Ok, dan moet het een van hierdie wees. Goed, ek hou van hierdie omdat die bezigheidse naam groot is en aan die boekant. Een van hierdie het spasie vir een foto. Wat denk jy? Hmm, 
Ek denk dit maak seker die tekst een bykie te klein. Ja, die tekst kan ook een bykie moeilik wees om te lees met die foto. Oké, okay, kom ons vat dan die ander een. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Die TV saai a weervoorspelling uit. Wat is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week? Hier is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week. In die eerste helft van die week sal baie dae oor die algemeen sonnig wees, alhoewel dit dalk bewolk kan wees van tyd tot tyd. In die tweede helft van die week sal die wolke waarschijnlijk versprei en dit sal reen in sommige plekke. In die middel van die week, wanneer die weer begin versleg, sal daar een paar storms wees. Die maximum temperatuur sal diezelfde wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal stuig tot omtrent 20 graden in die eerste helft van die week. Maar later in die week sal dit laar wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal daal van 18 graden tot 15 graden. Die minimum temperatuur sal voortgaan om 7 tot 8 graden te wees, wat iets wat laar is as normaal. Morgen sal een sonnige zondag wees en dit sal perfecte weer vir een vakantie wees. Wat is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week? Die TV saai een weervoorspelling uit. Wat is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week? Hier is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week. In die eerste helft van die week sal baie dae oor die algemeen sonnig wees, alhoewel dit dalk bewolk kan wees van tyd tot tyd. In die tweede helft van die week sal die wolke waarschijnlijk versprei en dit sal reen in sommige plekke. In die middel van die week, wanneer die weer begin versleg, sal daar een paar storms wees. Die maximum temperatuur sal diezelfde wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal stuig tot omtrent 20 graden in die eerste helft van die week. Maar later in die week sal dit laar wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal daal van 18 graden tot 15 graden. Die minimum temperatuur sal voortgaan om 7 tot 8 graden te wees wat iets wat laar is as normaal. Morgen sal een sonnige zondag wees en dit sal perfecte weer vir een vakantie wees. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to make consistent language breakthroughs? Here's how you do it with our advanced language learning system. In this video, you'll learn about four simple steps to make breakthroughs with our lessons. First, by breakthrough, we mean finally understanding and speaking language that you simply couldn't before. You finally break through. So if you're stuck at a beginner level or just aren't making much progress, this is for you. Here are four simple steps, but the first one is the most important one. Step one, accept that you need new lessons, new real life conversations, new words, and new phrases. So you're hearing something new and improving your language skills. Repeating phrases you already know won't help you move forward. That's a mistake most learners make. They stick to what they already know. But if you could start understanding more language in minutes and start making consistent breakthroughs, would you? Well, here's how you break through with our learning system. 
Remember, you need to have a source of new lessons and new conversations to expose yourself to language you don't yet know. So if you're listening to our new lessons, which we publish weekly on top of our existing lesson library, you're good to go. If not, start right now. These lessons get you speaking and understanding language in minutes. Here's how. Visit the site, choose a new series or learning level that you haven't done already, and start with the first lesson. Step two, listen to a new lesson and expose yourself to real life conversations. Now, you might not understand it at first, but in time you will. All the real life conversations you hear in lessons are broken down, explained, and translated right after by your instructors. Plus, you can also read along with lesson notes so you never miss a word. So now you can actually understand the entire conversation. As a listener, you'll get exposed to brand new conversations and start understanding real life conversations. So what's the next step? Step three, you'll need to start speaking and repeating what you hear. That's the best way to start speaking any language. Do it from day one. With our voice recorder available inside the lessons, you can listen to each line of the conversation and then repeat and record yourself to see how close you are to a native speaker. Finally, step four. In case you missed anything, you can review with vocab lists, quizzes, and the line by line feature. The line by line breaks down the conversation so you can hear and read each line again and again. So even if you can't catch something the first time, you can review what you heard and be able to hear it on the next listen. But remember, the most important step is the first one. You must jump into new lessons and new conversations in order to make a language breakthrough. To make your language breakthrough, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man sluit aan by a sports club en kry inlichting oor die beleid. Watter type lidmaatskap sal hy kies? Laat ek begin dier ons club se verskillende lidmaatskap opsies. Soos beskryf in hierdie brochure te verduidelik. Gewone lede kan die gymnasium en die swembad enige dag van die week gebruik. Ons bied ook vroeg ochend lidmaatskap, waar mense ons faciliteite net vroeg in die ochend kan gebruik en aand lidmaatskap vir mense wat net in die aand wil kom. Wat is die ure vir vroeg ochend lede? Vroeg ochend lede kan die faciliteite gebruik van 6 uur tot 10 uur in die ochend en aandlede kan die faciliteite gebruik van 6 uur tot 11 uur in die aand. Ek sien, so vroeg ochendlede kan die faciliteite gebruik op wat werk toe? Precies, die vroeg ochendtype is populair onder mense met 9 tot 5 werke. Ons bied ook lidmaatskappe net vir die gymnasium of net vir die swembad, as jy net een van die wil gebruik. Ek wil graag die gymnasium en die swembad gebruik. Ek dink ek sal die gymnasium gebruik vroeg in die ochend voordat ek werk toe gaan op weeksdag en die swembad gebruik op naweke. Het u een lidmaatskap vir vroeg ochend weeksdag, maar vol daar op naweke? Jammer meneer, maar ons het nie so een type lidmaatskap nie. Oké, okay. ek dink nie ek kan in die naweek so vroeg opstaan nie, so ek sal die lidmaatskap opsie kies. Watter type lidmaatskap sal hy kies? A man sluit aan by a sportsklub en kry inlichting oor die beleid. Watter type lidmaatskap sal hy kies? Laat ek begin dier ons club se verskillende lidmaatskap opsies, soos beskryf in hierdie brochure te verduidelik. Gewone lede kan die gymnasium en die swembad enige dag van die week gebruik. Ons bied ook vroeg ochend lidmaatskap, waar mense ons faciliteite net vroeg in die ochend kan gebruik en aand lidmaatskap vir mense wat net in die aand wil kom. Wat is die ure vir vroeg ochend lede? Vroeg ochend lede kan die faciliteite gebruik van 6 uur tot 10 uur in die ochend 
en aandlede kan die faciliteiten gebruik van 6 uur tot 11 uur in die aand. Ek sien, so vroeg ochendlede kan die faciliteiten gebruik op wat werk toe. Precies, die vroeg ochendtype is populair onder mensen met 9 tot 5 werken. Ons bied ook lidmaatskappe net vir die gymnasium of net vir die swembad, as jy net een van die wil gebruik. Ek wil graag die gymnasium en die swembad gebruik. Ek dink ek sal die gymnasium gebruik vroeg in die ochend voordat ek werk toe gaan op weeksdag en die swembad gebruik op naweke. Het u een lidmaatskap vir vroeg ochend weeksdag, maar vol daar op naweke? Jammer meneer, maar ons het nie so een type lidmaatskap nie. Oké, okay. ek dink nie ek kan in die naweek so vroeg opstaan nie, so ek sal die lidmaatskap opsie kies. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A manlike en vrouwelijke student kyk na verskillende werksposities. Wat er werk gaan die vrouwelijke student voor aansoek doen? Hey, wat denk jy van hierdie werk? Die eerlijke salaris is redelijk hoog. Natuurlijk. Die salaris lyk fantasties, maar kan jy rarige korant aflevering route hanteer? Natuurlijk, ek is baie goed met fietsry, maar ek is bekommerd oor vroeg opstaan. Wat van hierdie een? Die salaris is nie so hoog nie, maar jy kan 2 tot 3 dae week werk en in die aand begin werk. O, hierdie een, een supermarkasseer. Hmm, wel dit zou so goed wees om na school te werk. Die een in die koffiewinkel kan ook goed wees. O ja, ek is mal oor daar die plek en dis op die pad school toe. Nie sleg nie, ne? Hmm, wat er een moet ek aansoek voordoen? Tussen wat er twee moet jy kies? Die koffiewinkel en die korant afleveringsroute? Ja, die salaris van die korant afleveringsroute is rechtig fantasties. Oké, okay, ek het my besluit gemaakt. Ek gaan maar net vroeg moet opstaan. Wat er werk gaan die vrouwelijke student voor aansoek doen? Een mannelijke en vrouwelijke student kyk na verskillende werksposities. Wat er werk gaan die vrouwelijke student voor aansoek doen? Hey, wat denk jy van hierdie werk? Die eerlijke salaris is redelijk hoog. Natuurlijk. Die salaris lyk fantasties, maar kan jy rarige korant aflevering route hanteer? Natuurlijk, ek is baie goed met fietsry, maar ek is bekommerd oor vroeg opstaan. Wat van hierdie een? Die salaris is nie so hoog nie, maar jy kan 2 tot 3 dae week werk en in die aand begin werk. O, hierdie een, een supermarkasseer. Hmm, wel dit zou so goed wees om na school te werk. Die een in die koffiewinkel kan ook goed wees. O ja, ek is mal oor daar die plek en dis op die pad school toe. Nie sleg nie, ne? Hmm, wat er een moet ek aansoek voordoen? Tussen wat er twee moet jy kies? Die koffiewinkel en die korant afleveringsroute? Ja, die salaris van die korant afleveringsroute is rechtig fantasties. Oké, okay, ek het my besluit gemaakt. Ek gaan maar net vroeg met opstaan. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. In this lesson, you will learn new vocabulary to increase your language skills. After learning the new words, you will be challenged with a quiz to review them. Vijftig cent. 
50 cent. 50 cent. 50 cent. 50 cent. 50 cent. Een rand. Een rand. One rand. Een rand. Een rand. Een rand. Twee rand. Twee rand. Two rand. Twee rand. Twee rand. Twee rand. Vijf rand. Vijf rand. Five rand. Five rand. Five rand. Five rand. Ten rand. Ten rand. Ten rand. Ten rand. Tien rand. Tien rand. Twintig rand. Twintig rand. Twenty rand. Twintig rand. Twintig rand. Twintig rand. Vijftig rand. Vijftig rand. Fifty rand. Vijftig rand. Vijftig rand. Vijftig rand. Honderd rand. Honderd rand. One hundred rand. Honderd rand. Honderd rand. Honderd rand. Twee honderd rand. Twee honderd rand. Two hundred rand. Twee honderd. Twee honderd rand. Twee honderd rand. Twee honderd rand. Honderd rand. Vijftig rand. Twintig rand. Tien rand. Vijf rand. Twee rand. Eén rand. Vijftig cent. Tweehonderd rand. Tweehonderd rand. Twee rand. 
دوی رند این رند این رند Dimrand. Dimrand. Twintigrand. Twintigrand. Honertrand. Honertrand. Vijftig rand. Vijftig rand. Vijftig cent. Vijftig cent. Vijf rand. Vijf rand. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A vrouw bel op die telefoon om kaartjies te reserveer vir een opvoering. Wat er twee sitplekke het sy gereserveer? Hallo, dit is Blackfriars Playhouse. Kan ek jy help? Ek wil graag twee kaartjies reserveer vir King Lear om 5.30 vanavond. Is daar nog enige sitplekke beskikbaar? Ons het nog een paar sitplekke beskikbaar, maar ongelukkig geen langs mekaar nie. As jy nie omgee nie, kan ons twee aparte sitplekke bespreek. Oké, okay, ons gee nie om nie. Het jy enige spesifieke voorkeure? Wel, het jy enige gang sitplekke? Ja. Ons het een gang sitplek aan die linkerkant van die middelste deel. En rechts daarvan, drie sitplekke verder, het ons nog een vry sitplek. Aan die kant? Oké, okay. reserveer asjeblief die gang sitplek. Sekerlik. Wat van die ander een? Het u enige sitplekke na by die middel? Die enigste middel sitplekke wat ons beskikbaar het, is van die eerste rij tot die derde rij. Ek is nie rechtig mal daar oor as die acteers op my spoeg en so aan nie. Die kamer is relatief klein. Ek dink jy kan van die opvoering geniet, selfs van die einde van die rij aan die kant. Rechtig? Dan neem ek die een wat jy oor gepraat het voorheen, aan die linkerkant. Wat er twee sitplekke het sy gereserveer? Een vrou bel op die telefoon om kaartjies te reserveer vir een opvoering. Wat er twee sitplekke het sy gereserveer? Hallo, dit is Blackfriars Playhouse. Kan ek jy help? Ek wil graag twee kaartjies reserveer vir King Lear om 5.30 vanavond. Is daar nog enige sitplekke beskikbaar? Ons het nog een paar sitplekke beskikbaar, maar ongelukkig geen langs mekaar nie. As jy nie omgee nie, kan ons twee aparte sitplekke bespreek. Oké, okay, ons gee nie om nie. Het jy enige spesifieke voorkeure? Wel, het jy enige gang sitplekke? Ja, ons het een gang sitplek aan die linkerkant van die middelste deel. En rechts daarvan, drie sitplekke verder, het ons nog een vry sitplek. Aan die kant? Oké, okay. reserveer asjeblief die gang sitplek. Sekerlik. Wat van die ander een? Het jy enige sitplekke na by die middel? Die enigste middel sitplekke wat ons beskikbaar het, is van die eerste rij tot die derde rij. Ek is nie rechtig mal daar oor as die acteers op my spoeg en so aan nie. Die kamer is relatief klein. 
Ek dink jy kan van die opvoering geniet, selfs van die einde van die rij aan die kant. Rechtig, dan neem ek die een wat jy oor gepraat het voorheen, aan die linkerkant. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 core Afrikaans words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click in the link in the description to access example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is Helicopter Helicopter Helicopter. 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 Dit is moeilijk om een helikopter te vlieg. It is hard to fly a helicopter. Dit is moeilijk om een helikopter te vlieg. Zwart. Black. Zwart. Zwart. Black. Ik hou van mijn koffie zwart. I like my coffee black. Ek hou van my koffie swart. Bruin. Brown. Bruin. Bruin. Brown. Die papiere is vuil in bruin. The papers are dirty and brown. Die papiere is vuil in bruin. Grys. Grey. Grijs, grijs, grey. Grijs is nie a baie uitspattige kleur nie. Grey is not a very flashy color. Grijs is nie a baie uitspattige kleur nie. Rus, rest, rus, r rest. Ek hoef nie te rus nie. I don't need to rest. Ek hoef nie te rest nie. Oor. Hier. Oor. Oor. Hier. Ek kan jou nie duidelik oor nie. I cannot hear you clearly. Ek kan jou nie duidelik oor nie. Wil. Want. Wil. W. Ul. Want. Denk in die taal wat jy wil leer. Think in the language you want to learn. Denk in die taal wat jy wil leer. Walglik. Disgusting. Walglik. Walglik. Disgusting. Ach, dit is walglik. Wat het met jou pak gebeur? Oh, it's disgusting. What happened to your suit? Ach, dit is walglik. Wat het met jou pak gebeur? Elf. Eleven. Elf. Elf. Eleven. Boek om elf uur uit, asjeblief. Check out at eleven o'clock, please. Boek om elf uur uit, asjeblief. Twelve. 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 Sy het in daar die woonsang geblei vir twelve jaar. She lived in that apartment for twelve years. Sy het in daar die woonsang geblei vir twelve jaar. Dertien. Thirteen. Dertien. Dertien. Thirteen. Ek is 13 jaar oud. I am 13 years old. 
Ek is 13 jaar oud. E-pos. E-mail. E-pos. E-pos. E-mail. Hy antwoord elke dag al sy e-posse. He answers his emails every day. Hy antwoord elke dag al sy e-posse. Cell phone. Cellular phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cellular phone. Ach, ek het nou my cell phone vergeet. Oh, I forgot my cell phone. Ach, ek het nou my cell phone vergeet. Text boodskap. Text message. Text boodskap. Text boodskap. Text message. Tik a text boodskap. Type a text message. Tik a text boodskap. Mond. Mouth. Mond. M. Ond. Mouth. Moe nie met a vol mond praat nie, asseblief. Please don't talk with your mouth full. Moet nie met a vol mond praat nie, asseblief. Wang. Cheek. Wang. W. Ang. Cheek. Die kindse wang is rooi. The child's cheek is red. Die kind se wang is rooi. Nees. Nose. Nees. N ees. Nose. Hy het sy nees gebreek in fysische opvoeding. He broke his nose in physical education. Hy het sy nees gebreek in fysische opvoeding. Nota boek. Notebook. Nota boek. Nota boek. Notebook. Gee my a nota boek. Give me a notebook. Gee my a nota boek. Potlood. Pencil. Potlood. Potlood. Pencil. Potlood lood. Pencil lead. Potlood lood. Uit veer. Eraser. Uit veer. Uit veer. Eraser. Kan ek jou uit veer leen? Can I use your eraser? Kan ek jou uit veer leen? Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Tot ziens! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 Core Afrikaans Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you have learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is VIT. White. Wit. W it. White. Ek het a wit paard gehad. I had a white horse. Ek het a wit paard gehad. Roy. Red. R oi. Roy. Red. Die man kyk na die rooi meer. 
The man is facing the red wall. Die man kyk na die rooi meer. Groen. Green. Groen. Groen. Green. Ek is mal oor groen tea. I love green tea. Ek is mal oor groen tea. Eindig. Finish. Eindig. Eindig. Finish. Wanneer gaan jou klas eindig? When will your class finish? Wanneer gaan jou klas eindig? Begin. Start. Begin. Begin. Start. Ek kan my dag nie begin sonder een kopie koffie nie. I can't start my day without a cup of coffee. Ek kan my dag nie begin sonder een kopie koffie nie. Geword. Become. Geword. Geword. Become. Die fees het een belangrike vertoonvenster vir Europese film geword. The festival has become an important showcase for European films. Die fees het een belangrike vertoonvenster vir Europese film geword. 14 14 14 14 14 My daughter is 14 jaar oud. My daughter is 14 years old. My daughter is 14 years old. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Wacht for me for 15 minutes, okay? Wait for me for 15 minutes, okay? Wacht for me for 15 minutes, okay? 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Om 16 te word is een groot gebeurtenis. To turn 16 is a big event. Om 16 te word is een groot gebeurtenis. Telefoon. 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 Die telefoon lui. The telephone is ringing. Die telefoon lui. Oog. Ai. Oog. Oog. Ai. Kry vir my oogdrippels op wat huis toe. Get me some eye drops on your way home. Kry vir my oogdrippels op wat huis toe. Tande. Teeth. Tande. Tande. Teeth. Die olifant se i voortande kan baie groot word. The elephant's ivory teeth can become very large. Die olifant se i voortande kan baie groot word. Lip. 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 Sy lippe is droog. His lips are dry. Sy lippe is droog. Kopieermachine. Copy machine. Kopieermachine. Kopieermachine. Copy machine. Kan ek die kopieermachine gebruik? Can I use the copy machine? Kan ek die kopieermachine gebruik? Lessenaar. Desk. Lessenaar. Lessenaar. Desk. Die sak is onder die lessenaar. The bag is under the desk. Die sak is onder die lessenaar. Boek. 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 Beide boeke is op uitverkoping. Both books are on sale. Beide boeke is op uitverkoping. Pen. 
pain, pain, p e n, pain. The pain it rolled. The pain rolled. The pain it rolled. Post can do it. Post office. Post can do it. Post can do it. Post office. Where is the post can do it? Where is the post office? Where is the post can do it? Bibliotheque. Library. Bibliotheque. Bibliotheque. Library. Draw a very bibliotheque links off. Turn left at the library. Draw a very bibliotheque links off. Supermark. Supermarket. Supermark. Supermark. Supermarket. Die bank is iwers tussen die supermarkt en die car was. The bank is somewhere between the supermarket and the car wash. Die bank is iwers tussen die supermarkt en die car was. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com. To access the full list of vocabulary you will need for everyday conversations. You can also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens! Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. How to get a return on your language learning investment. I'm learning a language, but I'm not sure if it's working or if I'm getting better. Have you ever felt this way? This is a very normal thought to have. But before you go and blame your textbook or your app, let's make sure you're not the one making mistakes. So let's get into part one. You already know the first big reason if you've watched our previous monthly reviews. People often fail because they set vague goals, like I want to be fluent, which they don't know how to achieve. But the second big reason is lack of time. They don't put in the hours. Learning a language is a lot like going to a gym. You get what you put in. For example, if you get a dumbbell and do nothing, nothing happens. It can do great things for you, but it won't work until you pick it up and curl it a few times. The same thing goes for whatever language learning resource you're using or not using. If you put in one hour a day, you get results. If you put in 10 minutes a day, you get results. But if you put in zero, you get zero. You can have the best language learning method in the world and get zero results if you do nothing. And similarly, you can have the worst textbook ever and make progress if you put in the time. So you have to make sure you're consistently putting in time first. Part two, getting a return on language learning. Now, if you're putting in time and have a consistent routine, the next step is to track your effort and results. There's a good quote for this. What gets measured gets managed, meaning if you track your progress, you can know what works and what doesn't, and you know how to improve. So let's say your dream is to speak the language, and right now you're using a quiz app to learn the language. How do you know if it's working? You can waste months doing this until one day you realize you can't speak. Or you can figure this out sooner if you track your effort. If you step back and track your effort and results, you'll see that the quizzes have helped you remember words, but you've done zero speaking practice and can't speak. Once you realize this, you can adjust your routine to do something else that helps you speak. The point is, you get to know what works and what doesn't work. Again, what gets measured gets managed. Next, tracking helps you see a clear path to your language goals. Here's an example from our learning program. With our audio lessons, the absolute beginner level ones, we know that three or four audio lessons can help you master about one minute of conversation. That's because the dialogue tracks are about 20 seconds. So 20 seconds apiece, that's 60 seconds, one minute. Now you know the return on your time. Three or four lessons means one minute of conversation. And because you know how to reach one minute, you know how to reach two minutes, three minutes, and then 10 minutes. You can actually see a clear path to your goals. So the big lesson is, if you track your results, you'll know what to expect in the future, and you can hit your language learning goals. Again, what gets measured gets managed. Now, how do you track exactly? 
Part three, how to track your results and hit your goals. Remember, at the basic level, language learning is putting in time. You don't need a special language gene or a talent. You just need time. The more time you put in, the more results you get. So let's look at two ways, an easy way and an advanced way of tracking your time and results. Let's start with the easy way first. One, simply track the time you put in. So if you do a 10 minute audio lesson today and then spend five minutes with flashcards, note this as 15 minutes for the day. Just write it down in a notebook or a planner. Then do the same thing tomorrow. The goal here is to track the time and your effort so you can review later. If one day you realize you don't speak as much as you'd like, here's what you do. You look at your timesheet. If you see that you've been just watching YouTube videos, you can spot the problem, which is you've done no actual vocab study or speaking practice. And then you can start doing it. Another way you can track your time and effort is with the dashboard on our site. If you visit the dashboard, you can see the lessons you've completed, the number of flashcards reviewed, and hours studied. Now, here's the second tactic, and it's an advanced one. Track time and results. Tracking time is easy, but tracking results is trickier if you're learning a language on your own. So, how do you do that? For example, if you're studying words with flashcards, study for five minutes, and can remember seven out of 10 words, then that's your return. You know that five minutes gives you seven words. If you know this, you'll know what to expect when you learn new words. Another thing you can do is work to boost that number to 10 out of 10. Next, if you're practicing your listening skills, try to gauge how much you understand. If you understood about 20% of a three minute lesson, then that's your return for now. But by knowing this, you can start asking questions like, what can I do to understand 50% of this lesson? Will doubling my time double my results as well? Will reviewing this lesson for a few minutes a day every day work better than trying to memorize it all today? Then you put these questions to the test and try them out. And because you know your return, you can see if it really works. The three powerful language learning lessons you'll pick up at the gym. The first lesson is how to approach your goals and language learning. So why are we talking about the gym? The gym is a great example because it's filled with people working on their goals and it gives you a snapshot of where most people are with their goals. And everyone there has one goal, to be fit. But not everyone is there yet. You have a few people that look like fitness models. Then you have around 20 or 30 people that have good, respectable physiques, the middle group. And then the rest of the people are still working their way up. It's motivating because everyone has a chance of succeeding. If you've been to the gym, you understand the importance of repetition, doing reps. A rep is the number of times you do a certain exercise. Like 15 push-ups is 15 reps of push-ups. So even people still working toward their goals have a chance of succeeding if they put in the reps. If they do a little bit a day over a long period of time, they'll get there. The process is simple. The more you do, the longer you stick with it, the more progress you make. And the same goes for learning language or any other goal in life. It's about putting in the reps a little bit a day, consistently, for a long period of time. If you want to get bigger muscles, you pick up a dumbbell and you do reps. If you want to learn more words, you do the reps. Five new words a day. So, what can you do right now? For example, if you're using our program, just do one lesson a day. If you have a textbook, do one page a day. If you're using an app, put in five minutes a day. Again, everyone has a chance to succeed. They just need to put in the reps and they need to make the time. This is where the second lesson comes in. You'll learn how to find and make time to learn a language. There's a reason the people you see at the gym daily, and especially the people you see at 10 p.m. on a Friday, are the ones with above average results. They're the most consistent. But how do they get that level of consistency? There tend to be three types of people. First, the people that have plenty of free time, so it's a non-issue for them. Second, the busier people. They make time regardless of what their schedule is like meaning they show up at 1 a.m. just to fit in a session, or they cancel other plans to make time. And third, the people who have made it a habit. They're so used to going that they don't have to think about it. Ideally, you wanna be in the third group with language learning, but most people fall into the second group. The truth is that to make time, they have to cancel other plans. Some wake up earlier to squeeze in a session in the a.m. Some go late at night. It's the same exact thing with language learning. 
you make time. The good news with language learning is you don't need to open up a lesson at 1 a.m. and put in an hour. With our learning program, you'll get our quick but powerful 3 to 15 minute audio and video lessons. And because the lessons are short, you can easily make time. You can do a lesson on your commute or while walking somewhere. Imagine learning a quick conversation while on your way to the store. Finally, the third language learning lesson you'll learn at the gym is why you don't need the best possible routine to get results. Have you ever heard a friend say, I have to start the right way. It has to be perfect. Well, this is a disastrous way to start anything, whether fitness or language learning. And most learners spend a lot of time worrying about starting right instead of just starting and keeping at it. But the point is, if you start learning from a textbook and stick with it, you'll get results. You'll improve your reading, vocabulary, and grammar. Of course, it won't get you speaking. You'll only get good at what you focus on. But the fact is, you'll still make progress. Same with the gym. If you start off with bicep curls, you'll see progress in time. But at some point, you'll need to add in legs as well. You can't skip leg day. So here's what you can learn. Here's what smart beginners do. They don't look for the best way to start. They just start and keep going. And once they have a consistent routine, they start optimizing. They improve their routine. If you start taking one lesson a day and can easily maintain that routine, then you might eventually realize that you want to practice speaking. You need to shadow that lesson's conversation. So you add shadowing to your routine. And that's how you grow. Same thing with the gym. The smart beginners make sure they do their reps and come in as much as possible. And doing the basics is enough for them to build muscle. Later on, they'll start adjusting their exercises and adding new ones. But you'll never get to that point if you overthink yourself into inaction and don't build that habit. So as long as you start and continue, most starting routines and learning methods are good enough. You don't need the best possible one right now. You could have the best possible language learning program, but if you don't use it consistently, it's useless. All right, so today you learned, one, how to approach your goals, two, how to find time to learn a language, and three, why you don't need the best possible routine or learning program. If you're like most language learners, then your number one goal is to speak more, right? You want to have fluent conversations with natives. It's a great goal to have. But for most language learners, speaking also happens to be their weakest skill. You may not know enough of the language to express yourself. You tend to run out of words and things to say. And you're just not sure how to start conversation. If you have at least one of these issues, then talking points are just what you need. Part one, what's a talking point? A talking point is a topic that invites discussion or argument. In other words, just something to talk about. It could be about yourself, your work, your hobbies, the weather, food, or what you did this past weekend. All of these are talking points. Here's an example to help you better understand talking points. Think of a conversation you'd have with a friend. You can ask, what did you do this weekend? They'll reply and then ask you back. The talking point here is the weekend. Let's say your friend says they went to a restaurant. That's a natural talking point to explore next. You can ask, what kind of restaurants do you like? Now you've covered two talking points. The more talking points you have, the more you can speak. And the same goes for your target language. The only challenge is you need to know the relevant words and phrases for that topic. For example, if you want to talk about the weekend, you need to know phrases and questions like, what did you do this weekend? I did this. What about you? In the next part, you'll discover five easy talking points that you can master with our learning program. Let's get into part two. Part two five talking points you can use. The first one is, learn how to introduce yourself in your target language. Why is this a powerful talking point? Introducing yourself is something you'll do again and again, every time you meet someone new. So learning the relevant phrases is a must. If you've done the first few lessons on our site, you can already do this. If not, then check out our absolute beginner lessons and the top 25 questions you must know lessons. You'll learn basic conversations with our quick three to 15 minute lessons. We'll give you the exact lines to use along with the translations so that you can use them in conversations. You can also use this talking point to continue a conversation. For example, if you've started with a different point like the weather, then it makes sense to say, by the way, my name is. Talking point number two, the weather. This is a universal talking point. People like to talk or complain about the weather all over the world. 
In fact, just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation with a native speaker. If you want to talk about the weather, check out our can-do lesson pathway called Can Talk About Weather. You'll find this pathway in the absolute beginner level of our lesson library. Talking point number three, compliments. Compliments are another great way to start a conversation or continue one. If you're running out of things to say, you can quickly transition and say something about their city, their country, or just, hey, I like your shirt. If you want to learn how to compliment, check out our compliments phrase list. This list is free to access for all users. If you don't know where to find it on our site, leave a comment in the comments below and we'll follow up. Point number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions or about the price and let the conversation go from there. These are very basic phrases that you learn in our survival phrases lessons. If you want to strike up a quick dialogue, this is a great talking point to use. Point number five, learn phrases for transactions, like getting a room at a hotel, shopping, ordering food, or telling the taxi driver where to go. You may think that this isn't much of a talking point, but for the learners that are shy about talking to random native speakers for no reason, this is an easy way to start a dialogue. You have a good excuse. You wanna buy something, so the staff will be happy to respond. Again, you learn all of these with our survival phrases lessons. Okay, let's move on to our last part. Part three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets. Lastly, I'm going to tell you how to get our collection of conversation cheat sheets for free. With these cheat sheets, you'll be able to talk about all kinds of topics, travel, hobbies, dating, family, weather, and much more, which means you can master a lot of talking points and speak more of your target language. If you'd like to get these cheat sheets, please leave us a comment in the comment section. Four rules for staying motivated with language learning. Want to know how to really stay motivated? Then listen closely to these four rules. These rules might be a little different from the advice that you often hear. Ready? Rule number one, action comes first. Are you the type of person who prefers to make things happen? Or are you the type that waits for things to happen to you? One of the best ways to stay motivated with language learning is to not think about motivation. Instead, take action and start learning. The mistake that most people make is that they have this backwards. They think they should wait to feel motivated first and then start learning. But really, it's the other way around. First, you do a language lesson. You learn a basic conversation. Then you do another. And then you start feeling like you can do more and learn more. You see results. So results bring motivation. Thinking about motivation does not bring motivation. Thinking about motivation is like reading an article about how to go outside for a run instead of actually going outside for a run. So action comes first. Rule number two, always have an outside influence. It's very easy to lose motivation if you're learning language alone. So what do you do? Here are some examples. You get a study buddy. You hire a tutor. You join a meetup group. You plan a trip to a country where people speak that language or you sign up for a proficiency test, like many language learners do. Why do this? Because now you have other people depending on you. You have outside factors that keep you going with the language. For example, if you signed up for a language proficiency test, you know you have a few months to study and you have to take the test on a certain date. Someone is going to pass or fail you. This is a lot more motivating than learning alone. If you're learning with our program, you can get your own teacher with the Premium Plus plan. They'll hold you accountable, send you homework, and give you feedback. If you have a study buddy, well, now you have someone that expects you to show up and improve. And if they're better than you, that should give you extra motivation because you want to be at their level. So get some outside influence. The next rule is rule number three. Always have a go-to study method. When you arrive at work or the gym or when you start your homework, you always have that one thing you do first, right? What do you do? For example, with work, maybe the very first thing you do is check emails. Then you check your tasks for the week. After that, you get started. Well, you need to make the same kind of habits with language learning. You need a go-to study method that you're comfortable with, an easy starting point. And this totally depends on you and your style. Choose something you enjoy. Some people listen to audio lessons. Some people like flashcards. For some people, writing is easy. You can write out song lyrics and translate them. It's up to you. The point is you should give yourself an easy first step to get you started and get into the flow of learning. If you're learning with our program, you can start with the word of the day email or do a quick three minute audio lesson. You can copy out the lesson dialogue. 
read through the lesson notes, or even easier, just review and re-listen to a lesson you took the day before. If you have your own go-to study method, you're already miles ahead of most learners. Leave a comment and tell us about it. And finally, rule number four, always be working on something. So here, I want you to stop and think about your friends. Do you have a friend that's always up to something? Some project? They're working on a song or they're making videos. They finish one thing and they start another. Well, if you wonder how they stay motivated, it's because they're always working on something. And this goes back to taking action. If you're not learning or working, you can't stay motivated. So you need to apply this to language learning. How? For example, like I mentioned in part two about outside influence, you can make a plan to travel to a country that speaks your target language, or you can sign up for a language proficiency test. If you do that, you'll have something to look forward to, something to do. If you're traveling, you need to learn travel phrases. If you have a proficiency test coming up, you have to study grammar and do exercises. What else can you do? If you already have a textbook or workbook, make it a goal to finish that book. If you have a learning program, make it a goal to finish it or reach a certain level. If you're using our lessons, make it a goal to finish one learning pathway. Then when you're done, give yourself something else to do, something to stick with, something to look forward to. So let's recap. One, action comes first. Two, always have an outside influence. Three, always have a go-to study method. And four, always be working on something. How to double your speaking time in your target language. Okay, let's get into part one. Why is real speaking progress so hard to make? Let's say you've studied the language for a few months, and now you finally have a chance to practice speaking. Maybe you have a tutor or a native speaker friend who is willing to practice with you. You start talking and your friend helps you improve bits and pieces of your speaking, like pronunciation and grammar. And maybe you can talk about your day and common topics. But without proper preparation on both sides, the person learning and the person teaching, that's it. You're limited to what you can talk about. You don't know enough of the language to keep going, and they aren't prepared to help you speak more of the language. So if you try to have an open-ended conversation, you'll fall flat at some point. You'll run out of things to say and talk about. You'll run out of words and topics. And this is true outside of language learning. It's easy for conversations to die when you run out of things to talk about. A freestyle approach to conversation is nice for advanced learners or people who do serious preparation, but it's not so great for beginners. This is one reason it's hard to make real progress with speaking. You run out of things to say. But there is a way to double your speaking time, even if you're an absolute beginner, even if you're low on words and grammar. And that's by adding structure that you'll find in our lessons. Let's get into that. Part two how you can double your speaking time with our audio and video lessons. Let's say you're having a practice conversation with that same friend, except this time, both of you have a list of topics to follow. Then your conversations won't die out as quickly. The point is, if you have a structure to follow, like a lesson, there's always something for you to fall back on. And if you're already using our audio and video lessons, you get just that. So here's how you can use our lessons to double your speaking time. One, make sure to listen to and review your current audio or video lessons. Why? Each lesson conversation is based on a certain topic, like talking about the weather, talking about family, ordering food, and so on. So by simply taking a lesson, you learn a conversation around a certain topic. Lessons will give you a lot of topics to talk about, along with the relevant grammar and vocabulary, which many beginners might not have. Think about it. If you wanted to talk about a vacation, you'd need to know words like vacation, cruise, and holiday in your target language. You'd also need the right grammar points to help you express ideas. Our audio and video lessons will provide you with all of these. So listen to the lessons and prepare ahead of time. Two, use the dialogue presented in the lesson. In other words, you can memorize the lines from the lesson dialogue. You're already learning conversations in the lesson, so you may as well use them for yourself. And doing this will help prepare you for future conversations. Think about it. We often use lines like, where are you from? What's your name? My name is, how was your weekend? I went out last weekend. Once you memorize these expressions, you can and will use them over and over. 
As an example, imagine you do a few lessons about the weather. You'll master a few conversations about it. The next time that topic pops up in real life, you'll be able to talk about it. And three, each lesson comes with cultural insights. What does that mean for you? It gives you more things to talk about with a native speaker. So if you bring up a cultural point in a conversation with a native speaker, you'll likely get a good reaction and extend the conversation because you're talking about what they know best, their culture. So today you learned, one, why it's hard for many learners to make progress with their speaking skills. It's because we tend to run out of things to say. And two, how you can double your speaking time. Accomplish this by taking our lessons, memorizing the dialogues, and using the cultural insights. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Hi everyone, how are your Afrikaans listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A vrou vra a man waar die bushalte is. Waar is die bushalte? Verskoon my, weet jy of daar a bushalte hier nabij is? Ja, gaan eers reg uit en draai rechts by die tweede verkeerslig. Draai dan links by die hoek van een boekwinkel en dan sal jy een bank sien. Die bushalte is voor die bank. Het dit, baie dankie. Waar is die bushalte? Een vrou vra een man waar die bushalte is. Waar is die bushalte? Verskoon my, weet jy of daar een bushalte hier nabij is? Ja, gaan eers reg uit en draai rechts by die tweede verkeerslig. Draai dan links by die hoek van een boekwinkel en dan sal jy een bank sien. Die bushalte is voor die bank. Het dit, baie dankie. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Null. Null. Zero. Null. 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 Ian. Ian. One. Ian. 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 Dwea. Dwea. Two. Dwea. 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 Three. 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 Vier. Vier. Four. Vier. 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 Vijf. 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 Zes. Zes. Six. Zes. 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 Zeven. Zeven. Seven. Zeven. Zeven. 
7. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. Five. Five. Sieva. Sieva. Three. Three. Null. Null. Nierge. Nierge. Twee. Twee. Seis. Seis. Vier. Vier. Acht. Acht. Ian. Ian. Want to start speaking more in your target language? You'll need more words and phrases. In this guide, you'll discover 11 powerful ways to learn tons of new vocabulary. Let's begin. Number one, sign up for the word of the day emails. This is a completely free study tool. Just sign up and every day you'll get a brand new word delivered to your inbox. You get the definition, the audio pronunciation, and tons of examples. So you're not just learning disconnected words. Best of all, reviewing takes seconds. So this is a fast and easy way to pick up new words. So keep an eye on your email and look for our word of the day lessons. Number two, access our free vocab and phrase lists. Here you'll find tons of vocab and phrase lists based on all kinds of topics that you won't get anywhere else. Holidays, hobbies, conversational phrases, common questions, slang, and much more. You can review all of the words with the bonus audio lesson or the audio slideshow. Number three, play a lesson. In every lesson, you learn a conversation and then our teachers break down and translate every word. So here, you're actually learning words in the context of conversations, and you can easily see how they're used. Number four, review the lesson vocabulary section. Want to master the key vocabulary from a lesson? Access the vocabulary section of any lesson. Here, you can review the translations and the audio pronunciations of each word. You can even play slowed down pronunciations to fully grasp each word. Number five, play the audio slideshow. Want to play words on a loop until they're stuck in your head? You can do this with the audio slideshow. This feature is available on every free vocab list and on all of the lessons. With the lessons, just scroll down to the vocab section and click on slideshow. Number six, review the lesson notes. 
you get in-depth lesson notes for every lesson, including grammar explanations, plus extra vocab and sample sentences not mentioned in the lesson. You can even download the notes as PDFs to print or keep for yourself. Number seven, get the 2,000 most common words list. Language experts say you need around 1,500 words to be conversationally fluent. Here, you get 2,000 must-know words sorted into categories, such as verbs, adjectives, and everyday words, even numbers. You'll see the top 100 words, the top 200, 300, up to 2,000. You can study these words with the slideshow, or send them to the word bank or flashcards. Number eight, word bank. The word bank is your personal database of words and phrases. If you come across a word you like and want to review later, save it to your word bank. You can save words and phrases from lessons, free vocab lists, and the core 2000 word list. With the word bank, you can even create and print out word lists to use as physical study material. Number nine, remember words forever with spaced repetition flashcards. Spaced repetition flashcards are a powerful language learning tool. They track your progress, they show you words based on how well you know them, and show them to you again at the right times so you don't forget them. So if you get a word right, you'll see it again in seven days, then in 14, then every once in a while, just to refresh your memory. If you get it wrong, you'll see it again and again until you get it right. You can create flashcard decks from any lesson vocab section, word bank entry, the top 2000 core word list, and the free vocab and phrase lists. Number 10, use the audio dictionary. If you want to look up a word, you can easily use our free dictionary. And you can save these words into your word bank as well. Number 11, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more vocab lessons, then visit our lesson library, and under Category, choose Vocabulary. You'll get all of the lessons dedicated to helping you master must-know vocabulary. So if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and if you want to start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Most people who learn a foreign language learn it so that they can one day have real-life conversations with native speakers. When you start out learning and crack open your first textbook or listen to your first podcast, having a real conversation can feel like a fantasy. When everything about a language feels new, it can be overwhelming. But this couldn't be further from the truth. While it does take a significant amount of time and effort to become fluent, having a conversation might not be as far off as you think. In this video, we'll look at three ways you can boost your conversational skills and start talking to native speakers. Number one, find native speakers and practice with them. It's unlikely you live near a big group of native speakers to practice with. If you happen to be in a major or international city, your chances may be better. Check and see if your city has a general language exchange. Chances are there could be a native speaker there who is also trying to learn another language. Practicing in person with a native speaker is probably the most interesting option for honing your speaking skills. But if you can't find anyone where you live, the next best option is to look online. Luckily for language learners, the past 10 years or so have seen an explosion in online language exchange sites. On these websites, you can search for someone who is a native speaker of your target language and is also learning your native language. The idea behind a language exchange is that you communicate with them via video or text chat, and half of the time, they help you practice your target language, and for the other half, you help them practice theirs. Practicing via an online language exchange is a highly effective way to practice your conversational skills. Number two, work on pronunciation. Pronunciation is often an overlooked skill when it comes to learning a foreign language. Most people think of a good foreign accent as a luxury rather than a necessity. But what most people don't talk about is how having a good accent boosts your listening and comprehension skills. 
If you can hear a sound from a foreign language and know how to make it yourself, then you're more likely to understand native speakers when they talk at normal speed, and you're also more likely to remember any new words or phrases you come across. Having a good accent means that the language no longer sounds foreign. Instead, it sounds familiar, maybe even natural. So how do you go about perfecting your accent? The best way is to break down the language into its individual sounds. Make note of any sounds that are the same or similar to your native language and of those that are different. Of the sounds that are different, spend your time practicing the ones that you find the hardest to say correctly. After you're comfortable with the individual sounds, you can start linking together words and phrases. This is where accent practice starts to get really fun and interesting. Get your hands on some native speaker audio from a TV show, song, or podcast. Play the audio back and listen closely a few times. Take note of how words blend together in speech. Then, do your best to imitate what you hear, trying to match the speaker's emphasis and intonation. Our language learning program's playback feature is perfect for this. Record yourself and compare it to the original recording. Rinse and repeat until you're comfortable with the audio selection, and then move on to something more difficult. This is how you can break through the accent barrier and really start to make the language your own. Number three, learn phrases, not just individual words. Learning grammar and individual words is great, but it's not the only approach you should take if you want to speak fluently. In addition to your regular grammar and vocabulary, try learning whole phrases, even if you aren't totally sure how they work grammatically. Learn phrases that are specific to your needs. It's a good idea to learn phrases that are grouped around a certain setting or subject, such as simple greetings or introductions, questions for getting to know someone, or traveling comfortably. You can even learn filler phrases, which you can use so that you have something to say when, well, you don't know what to say. Learning phrases like this will help you become conversational faster. You may not understand what you're saying literally, but as long as you know the general meaning behind the phrase and know when to use it, you'll be able to talk like a native. Eventually, your knowledge of grammar and vocabulary should catch up with the phrases you know. Learning a new language should feel like an adventure. There will be plateaus and periods in your learning where it feels like you're hitting a wall, but being able to speak with native speakers and have real conversations will help you combat language fatigue. After all, talking to someone face-to-face -face in a foreign language is one of the main reasons we start learning in the first place. And for even more ways to gain conversation skills, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long-distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Achste rij, sitplek C. Hello, it's Christine again. We're here today again in 10 phrases that you never want to hear. Ish. So these are all going to be very negative. I'm really sorry. I don't want to offend anyone. But when I'm saying these things, I'm not saying them to you. I'm just telling you them so that when someone says them to you, you know that you should probably act in a, in a scared or sorry way because you don't want to know these things. Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Het jy onlangs Gewig opgetal. Have you gained weight recently? Heet jij onlangs gewig opgetal? Have you gained weight lately? It's quite a harsh thing to say to someone. Something you should learn but not say. Um, know it so that if someone tells you, you can be like, 
no, I haven't, thanks, and it's got none of nothing to do with you anyway. And if you have, who cares? Like, love yourself, love your body, and ignore people who ask you if you've picked up weight. Jy het a grys haar. Jy het a grys haar. You have a grey hair. Jy het a grys haar. You have a grey hair. This is quite scary, especially if you're getting a little bit older, but not that much older, and you're finding a grys haar, and you're like, ah, my life is going so quickly. But... It's not the end of the world. It's fine. Just pluck it out or dye it or actually just own it. Go grey. Grey is the new black. Well, I don't know. It's grey is the new grey, but <laughs> own it. Own yourself. Own your body. Own your hair. Own everything. It's making you a happier person that way. I get you say, Ek het jou gesê. I told you so. I get you say, I told you so hate hearing this from people because it means you were wrong and it sounds so condescending but if you're the one to say it you're feeling a little bit better so I guess it's one to learn um, and hopefully use (laughs) Jij is afgedank Jij is afgedank You're fired Jij is afgedank You are fired So this one is quite terrible no one really wants to hear that. And unfortunately in Afrikaans, it doesn't even have that punch. Like, yes, afgedank doesn't really sound as much as you're fired. But you, if someone says that to you, I'm really sorry. Good luck finding a new job. Um, and maybe ask why so that you can change something, I guess. Dit is nie jy nie, dis ek. Dit is nie jy nie. Dit is ek. It's not you. It's me. Dit is nie jy nie. Dit is ek. It's not you. It's me. Another one that we definitely don't want to hear if you're in a relationship and they're ending things with you or telling you something and it's it's not you, it's me. Ugh, you're right. It probably is you, but they're just trying to be polite. But if you're using this one, Maybe don't. Like, learn it in Afrikaans. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. But don't use it in that way, because most of the time, it's just something that softens the blow, but it doesn't really actually do that. Thank you for your CV. Ons het die posiesie gevul. Thank you for your CV. Ons het die posiesie gevul. Thank you for your resume, however the position has been filled. Thank you for your CV. Ons het die posiesie gevul. Thank you for your resume. However, the position's already been filled. Unfortunately, you've just been fired and now you're trying to find a new job and they're telling you that there's no more new job left and you're just not in a great space. And I'm really sorry if you're in this space. Um, I'm just wishing you all the best of luck and hopefully you never have to hear these things. I'm sorry. Ons moet ander mense sien. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. This is almost as bad as the it's not you, it's me thing. Um, except it's a little bit more open and honest and just telling people how you feel. So I guess if you're in that position, remember how to say, ons moet ander mense sien. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. Ek Het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. That sucks if it's the end of the month and you've kind of run through all your spendings have been high and you've run through all your savings and your boss tells you that they don't have your geld vandag and it sucks and means you're going to have to be living on rice or popcorn or something for a couple of days. I mean, I've been there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, not a great one to hear either. <sighs> These things are making me feel like life's very hard right now. <laughs> Ons moet praat. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Here's another one of those relationship shooters that we really don't like to hear 
Um, even though sometimes they can be positive, you know, like we need to talk about moving in together or something like that. But since we're in this list, we're going to assume that ons moet praat means that we're going to be seeing other people or something along those unfortunate lines. Jou kar is gesteel. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Definitely don't want to hear that one ever. It's a lot of money and a lot of issues and a lot of admin to get that fixed and get it back or get it found or get a new one or insurance or like, ugh, there's so many things that come with this stupid little sentence of yo car is gesteel. So pay a car guard or park in a parking lot or try not to put your car in a place where it can be stolen. <laughs> So we've come to the end of today's lesson, finally, of 10 things that you never want to hear. Um, hopefully you never hear those things. I'm really sorry if you do. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever been told any of those things, whether in Afrikaans or in another language, and how you responded, what you did, and maybe you can motivate some other people to not have such a negative response to these negative sayings. And I'm really sorry, but they're good to know in life. Um, so yeah, comment, subscribe, like, and remember to do Afrikaans with AfrikaansBot101.com. When learning a new language, everyone should have an ultimate goal to work towards. Whether you want to be able to connect with a relative, easily order food while traveling, or go somewhere new, having an end goal for your learning can be very motivating. A popular but challenging goal is being able to speak like a native speaker. It's difficult to measure exactly when you reach this goal, and it's not something you can pick up using textbooks alone. So how do you work on making your speech more natural? That's what we're going to look at today. Here are three tips to help you practice talking like a native speaker. Number one, focus on vocabulary. If your goal is to speak like a native, you might be really focused on speaking quickly or using as many complex grammar patterns as possible. But in our native languages, we're not always trying to speak as fast as possible. And we use complex grammar patterns when necessary, not to show off. Vocabulary, however, is extremely important to expressing ourselves naturally. Your choice of words can reveal a lot about you and your understanding of the language. Most learners have had the experience of using a phrase book or a dictionary to find a word they want to use, trying the word in conversation, and getting a look of confusion from the native speaker. In some cases, although your word choice may be grammatically correct, the word may be inappropriate for the situation or totally unnatural. This is especially important in business and other formal situations, where the right level of formality and professionalism is key. Being able to understand nuances and vocabulary words can also help you understand relationships between people just by listening to the conversation. Try to listen to many different types of conversations. Listen to how people talk to their friends, their superiors, and in customer service situations. This will give you a better idea of how to talk to others naturally. In some languages, you can omit words from sentences or use more direct communication styles. It's important to be aware of these things so you can apply them yourself. Colloquialisms and slang are also commonly used in most languages. As this sort of vocabulary is always evolving, it can be difficult to keep up with the latest words. Talk with native speakers and consume media in your target language to make sure you pick up these kinds of expressions. Media is a great resource for your learning. Ultimately, knowing the appropriate vocabulary to use for each situation will really help you sound more knowledgeable. Number two, perfect your accent. With every language, there are unique pronunciation and intonation challenges. Some languages are tonal languages, and a change in pitch can completely change the meaning of a word. Then there's the fact that most countries have multiple dialects, and so people from one area of the country may sound different from those in another. So what is the best way to listen to a wide range of accents and different pronunciations? Video and audio resources are a great way to do this. YouTube is a perfect place to start because people from all kinds of different backgrounds upload videos to the platform. You can watch educational videos, daily life vlogs, cooking shows, a travel series, whatever interests you. Pay attention to the different ways people speak. Everyone is unique. 
and then practice speaking like them. This kind of practice can help you sound more natural. One note, please be aware of the type of resources you're using. For example, if you find a video where a speaker uses a rare dialect, it might not be a good idea to use that for your pronunciation practice, unless you have a special reason for studying a specific accent. As a general rule, it's best to try to search for practice resources that use a standard form of the language you're studying. Number three, copy what you hear. Do you remember how you learned to speak as a child? We rarely learned new words just listening to them or reading after we learned how. When we were little kids, we imitated the sounds we heard by repeating the sounds out loud. While you're talking to a friend, watching videos, or listening to audio in your target language, you can do this to try and replicate the way they speak. Doing this will help you work on mastering the flow of the language, your accent, intonation, and pronunciation. Of course, you might also pick up some new vocabulary this way. Make sure to repeat new words often. It's a great way to make sure you remember them. Try doing this using a number of different mediums and sources. That way, you'll be exposed to the diversity that the language offers and master the fundamentals of pronunciation. For example, you can watch and imitate several different YouTube videos and audio CDs, but try a few different sources, like different creators or different audio types, to make sure you experience a wide range of communication in your target language. If you're using our language learning program, you can even get your own teacher with Premium Plus. Your teacher can answer questions, give assignments, and even listen to your recordings and give you advice on pronunciation. Completing these kinds of lessons with a native teacher can really boost your confidence in your speaking skills. Becoming able to speak like a native is a popular goal for many people learning a new language. It feels great to be able to communicate smoothly, especially when the people you're talking to expect basic level sentences or broken communication. Try using the tips we've shared in this video to work on improving your speaking skills. Of course, it'll take time and persistence, but the reward will be more natural communication. And for even more tips on speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Die TV saai a weervoorspelling uit. Wat is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week? Hier is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week. In die eerste helfte van die week sal baie dae oor die algemeen sonnig wees, alhoewel dit dalk bewolk kan wees van tyd tot tyd. In die tweede helfte van die week sal die wolke waarschijnlijk verspreid en dit sal reen in sommige plekke. In die middel van die week, wanneer die weer begin versleg, sal daar een paar storms wees. Die maximum temperatuur sal die selfde wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal stuig tot omtrend 20 grade in die eerste helfte van die week. Maar later in die week sal dit laar wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal daal van 18 grade tot 15 grade. Die minimum temperatuur sal voortgaan om 7 tot 8 grade te wees wat iets wat laar is as normaal. Morgen sal een sonnige zondag wees en dit sal perfecte weer vir een vakantie wees. Wat is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week? Die TV saai een weervoorspelling uit. Wat is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week? Hier is die weervoorspelling vir die komende week. In die eerste helfte van die week sal baie dae oor die algemeen sonnig wees, 
alhoewel dit talk bewolk kan wees van tyd tot tyd. In die tweede helfte van die week sal die wolke waarschijnlijk verspreid en dit sal reen in sommige plekke. In die middel van die week, wanneer die weer begin verslag, sal daar een paar storms wees. Die maximum temperatuur sal die selfde wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal stuig tot omtrend 20 grade in die eerste helfte van die week. Maar later in die week sal dit laar wees as die gemiddelde jaar en dit sal daal van 18 grade tot 15 grade. Die minimum temperatuur sal voortgaan om 7 tot 8 grade te wees wat iets wat laar is as normaal. Morgen sal een sonnige zondag wees en dit sal perfecte weer vir een vakantie wees. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man and a vrou kyk na a foto. Na wat er foto kyk hulle? Dit is a foto van jou seen en sy sokkerspan, nie waar nie? Wat er een is jou seen? Hierdie een? O, oh, hy is die langste een. Ja, hy is selfs langer as ek. Na wat er foto kyk hulle? A man en een vrou kyk na een foto. Na wat er foto kyk hulle? Dit is een foto van jou seen en sy sokkerspan, nie waar nie? Wat er een is jou seen? Hierdie een? O, oh, hy is die langste een. Ja, hy is selfs langer as ek. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Jy luister na die weerberig. Wat is die weervoorspelling? Dit sal een sonnige ochend wees. In die middag gaan het bewolk word en dit sal teen die aand reen. Die reen sal aanhou val dwars dier die nacht tot vroeg ochend. Daarna sal die son weer skyn. Wat is die weervoorspelling? Jy luister na die weerberig. Wat is die weervoorspelling? Dit sal een sonnige ochend wees. In die middag gaan het bewolk word en dit sal teen die aand reen. Die reen sal aanhou val dwars dier die nacht tot vroeg ochend. Daarna sal die son weer skyn. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. 
With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So, start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, Visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. You're about to order your lunch and you're interested in the lunch menu. What does the lunch menu say? What does the lunch menu say? The lunch menu says that today's special is spicy chicken with grilled vegetables. Vandaagse specialiteit, pittige hoener, Geroosterde groente. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man in a vrouw gesels. Wanneer verf die man? 
verf jy elke dag? Ja, van 9 a.m. tot 7 p.m. Van 9 tot 7? Dis 10 ure? Wel ja, dis my werk. Wanneer verf die man? A man en a vrou gesels. Wanneer verf die man? Verf jy elke dag? Ja, van 9 a.m. tot 7 p.m. Van 9 tot 7? Dis 10 ure? Wel ja, dis my werk. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi everyone! How are your Afrikaans listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A vrou is in a afdelingswinkel. Na wat er vloer toe gaan sy? Verskoon my. Waar is die kinderklere? Dit is op die vijfde en zesde vloer. Het jylle baba klere ook? Ja, ons het baie baba klere op die zesde vloer. Baie dankie, ek sal daar gaan kyk. Na wat er vloer toe gaan sy? A vrou is in a afdelingswinkel. Na wat er vloer toe gaan sy? Verskoon my, waar is die kinderklere? Dit is op die vijfde en zesde vloer. Het jylle baba klere ook? Ja, ons het baie baba klere op die zesde vloer. Baie dankie, ek sal daar gaan kyk. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to improve reading in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top 10 ways to practice reading with our lessons and learning program. Let's begin. Number one, start a lesson and read along with the lesson notes. With every lesson, you get bonus lesson notes. These give you the lesson in writing, the dialogue, the vocabulary, and the grammar explanations. So, as you listen to a lesson, read along with the lesson notes. By listening and reading along, you hear how each word is pronounced and can easily keep up. Number two, read with the dialogue study tool. With the dialogue study tool, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of a lesson's conversation. You get the text, the translation, the audio, and, if applicable, the romanization, so you can read and listen to each line individually. To practice your reading, reread and review each line until you master it. Then, move on to the next line. You get this feature in every one of our lessons. Number three, read along with the lesson transcript. You also get transcripts with every lesson. These are word-for-word -word scripts of everything that was said in the lesson and are completely free to access. So use these to read along. Number four, download the PDF notes and transcripts. Want to practice reading on your own time? Save the lesson notes and transcripts as PDFs to your device and keep them forever. That way, you can open them up and practice reading at any time. You can also print the PDFs out to keep as physical reading material. Number five, practice with extensive reading books. Extensive reading is a learning tactic where you read as many books as possible at a level that's easy for you, and you follow these two rules. One, you skip over words you don't know, and two, you jump to a new book if the current one is boring. The goal is to help you master reading, vocab, and grammar simply by reading a lot without getting stuck on minor words. You can find extensive reading books from absolute beginner level to advanced. These are simple one line per page books and all of the translations are on the lesson page. Simply look for the extensive reading pathways in the lesson library. You can also download these books as PDFs and print them out. Number six, take your time and read slowly. 
Whether you're reading with the notes, books, or the dialogue tool, be sure to take your time. Read the lines slowly on the first try, just like a child would when they start learning to read. This is so you can get acquainted with every word. Number seven, then speed up your reading. Once you've read a line slowly and are familiar with the words, start speeding up. Reread that same line a little bit faster on the second try, and then a little faster on the third try. Doing this will help you read faster. Number eight, take the reading comprehension video lessons. These lessons are specifically designed to test your reading skills. You're presented with a real life scenario, such as reading a sign at the train station, and are tested on the words presented on the screen. Don't worry, you get the answer at the end. And translations are available in the dialogue section. Number nine, get reading assignments from your Premium Plus teacher. You can also get assignments that cover listening, writing, speaking, and even reading from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number 10, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more reading lessons, then visit our lesson library and under category, choose reading and writing. You get instant access to all of the pathways and lessons that will help you master all areas of the language, including reading. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. See you next time. Bye. If you've studied your target language, but you can barely understand native speakers, you might be doing something wrong. You know the vocabulary and grammar they're using, but for some reason when they speak at a faster speed, you can't keep track of what's going on. Why is this happening? Have you spent all this time learning in vain? This is a common issue that all language learners face at some point or another. The truth is, it's actually a good problem to have because only students with a higher level of skill will experience it. When you know a lot of the language, but have trouble understanding native speakers, the problem is almost always with your listening skills. Learning what words mean and practicing how to use them in a sentence are both invaluable skills to develop. But people often forget that in addition to speaking, writing, and reading, we have to develop our listening skills in a foreign language as well. In this video, we'll look at three practical ways to improve your listening skills. Number one, practice active listening. One of the best ways to practice listening is to, well, listen to your target language. But this doesn't mean putting on some music and listening to it in the background as you do other things. You need to practice active listening. Get your hands on a recording of spoken language. You can use a movie, news broadcast, or a podcast. You can even try subscribing to a YouTube channel. Listen to a segment of the audio and do your best to write down what you hear. After a couple tries at this, go back and double check what you wrote against the script of what was actually said. If you're watching a movie, you can double check yourself by turning on the subtitles. Our language learning program is one of the best tools for developing your listening skills. You can listen to the conversation in a lesson and then check it back against the lesson transcripts. This is simple, easy, and you can be sure that the transcripts are correct. Number two, practice pronunciation. Any problems you have pronouncing new words correctly will be reflected back in your listening skills. It's hard for your brain to decipher and remember a sound, be it a letter or a word, that you don't know how to make yourself. A good accent will give you the ability to hear and pick out the otherwise unnatural new sounds. To develop your accent, focus on any sounds or letters that feel difficult or unnatural for you. Once you get more comfortable with the basic sounds, start to combine them using words and whole sentences. Listen to native speakers as much as possible and take note of how words and sounds can blend, morph, or get dropped in rapid speech. Do your best to listen to this phenomenon and imitate what you hear. Focus more on how the syllables are said together rather than simply saying the words next to each other. There is often a significant difference between how words are said individually and how they are said when spoken together in a rapid fire sentence. This is a big part of the reason language learners can know a lot of vocabulary and grammar but still not understand native speakers. 
Our playback feature is great for pronunciation practice. You can play back the podcast itself or listen to words individually. You can even listen back at a slower speed if you're having trouble catching the correct pronunciation at native speaker speed. Number three, make listening part of your routine. Now that you've started practicing active listening and pronunciation, make it a part of your regular learning. A lot a specific amount of time for each of your listening activities. For example, you might practice 10 minutes of active listening, followed by 10 minutes of practicing vowels, and then 10 minutes of imitation practice with a podcast. Now, you don't have to use this schedule exactly. Tailor it to your own needs and availability. The point is that you should make a conscious and decisive effort to practice your listening skills on a regular basis. It could be 30 minutes a day, or it might be 10. What matters most is that you practice consistently. These three tips will help you close any gap that might exist between your knowledge of your target language and your listening abilities. Understanding native speakers may seem daunting at first, but with a little time and perseverance, you will see your skills improve. And for even more ways to practice listening, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 Core Afrikaans Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you have learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is... Piersi Wallet Piersi Piersi Wallet Die geld is in die piersi The money is in the wallet. Die geld is in die beursie. Handzak. Purs. Handzak. Handzak. Purs. Ek het my handzak gister verloor. Yesterday I lost my purse. Ek het my handzak gister verloor. Bestel. Order. Bestel. Bestel. Order. Dit is nie wat ek bestel het nie. This isn't what I ordered. Dit is nie wat ek bestel het nie. Veld. Field. Veld. Veld. Field. Sy behendigheid op die sokkerveld was wel bekend, want hy het baie aanhangers gehad van recht oor die wereld. His adroitness on the soccer field was well known as he had many fans around the world. Sy behendigheid op die sokkerveld was wel bekend, want hy het baie aanhangers gehad van recht oor die wereld. Woestijn Desert Woestijn Woest Tuin. Desert. Hy moes een gedeelte van die woestijn deurkruis om die beskaving te bereik waar hy kon hulp kry om sy stikkende motor in te sleep. He had to traverse part of the desert to reach civilization where he could get help to tow his broken down car. Hy moes een gedeelte van die woestijn dier kruis om die beskaving te bereik waar hy kon hulp kry om sy stikkende motor in te sleep. Baas 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 My baas is irriterend. 
my boss is annoying. My boss is irritierend. Kantoor. Office. Kantoor. Kantoor. Office. My kantoor is op die tweede vloer. My office is on the second floor. My kantoor is op die tweede vloer. Medewerker. Coworker. Medewerker. Medewerker. Coworker. My inkomste is minder in vergelijking met my medewerkers. My income is relatively low compared to my coworkers. My inkomste is minder in vergelijking met my medewerkers. Vergadering. Meeting. Vergadering. Vergadering. Meeting. Ons sal drie uur een vergadering hee. We'll have a meeting at three o'clock. Ons sal drie uur een vergadering hee. Police station. Police station. Police station. Police station. Police station. Ek wil na die police station gaan. I want to go to the police station. Ek wil na die police station gaan. Aptiek. Pharmacy. Aptiek. Aptiek. Pharmacy. Waar is die naaste aptiek? Where is the closest pharmacy? Waar is die naaste aptiek? Pakkerij. Bakery. Pakkerij. Pakkerij. Bakery. Ek koop my brood by die bakkerij. I buy my bread at the bakery. Ek koop my brood by die bakkerij. Vliektheater. Movie theater. Flick theater. Flick theater. Movie theater. Wat er flick theater wil jij besoek? Which movie theater do you want to visit? Wat er flick theater wil jij besoek? Onderhandeling. Negotiation. Onderhandeling. Onderhandeling. Negotiation. Na twee jaar sy onderhandeling het die twee lande uiteindelik tot een oorienkomst gekom. After two years of negotiation, the two countries were finally able to agree. Na twee jaar sy onderhandeling het die twee lande uiteindelik tot een oorienkomst gekom. Contract. Contract. Con Track. Contract. Contract. Ons moet nog jou contract teken. We still have to sign your contract. Ons moet nog jou contract teken. Besigheid. Business. Besigheid. Besigheid. Business. My pa besit a besigheid. My dad owns a business. My pa besit a besigheid. Ooreenkoms. Deal. Ooreenkoms. Ooreenkoms. Deal. Ons het a ooreenkoms. We have a deal. Ons het a ooreenkoms. Besig, busy, besig, besig, busy. 
Die straat is baie besig. The street is very busy. Die straat is baie besig. Ernstig. Serious. Ernstig. Ernstig. Serious. Dit is seker nie baie ernstig nie. It is probably not that serious. Dit is seker nie baie ernstig nie. Moeg. Tired. Moeg. Moeg. Tired. Ek is moeg. I'm tired. Ek is moeg. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you will need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Tot ziens! How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man praat met sy vrou op die telefoon. Wat gaan hy koop? Hey, ek is op pad huis toe. Ok, kan jy paar goed koop op pad huis toe? Seker. Wat moet ek kry? Ons het melk en brood nodig vir ontbijt morgen. Melk en brood? Oké, okay. hoeveel bokse melk? Een sal genoeg wees. Oké, okay. enige iets anders? Hou ga aan, ek kyk of ons botter het. Oké, okay. ons het botter. Recht so, het ons enige bier oor? Ja, ons het nog een bottel oor. Oké, okay. so ons hoef nie nog te koop nie. Ja, Ons het nog een bottel oor. Wat gaan hy koop? Een man praat met sy vrou op die telefoon. Wat gaan hy koop? Hey, ek is op pad huis toe. Ok, kan jy een paar goed koop op pad huis toe? Seker, wat moet ek kry? Ons het melk en brood nodig vir ontbijt morgen. Melk en brood? Oké, okay. hoeveel bokse melk? Een sal genoeg wees. Oké, okay. enige iets anders? Hou ga aan, ek kyk of ons botter het. Oké, okay. ons het botter. Recht so, het ons enige bier oor? Ja, ons het nog een bottel oor. Oké, okay. so ons hoef nie nog te koop nie. Ja, ons het nog een bottel oor. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. You are at a bus terminal where you stumble across a notice at one of the stops. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, this bus route is no longer in service. Die bus route is nie meer in dienst nie. Want to improve reading in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top 10 ways to practice reading with our lessons and learning program. Let's begin. 
Number one, start a lesson and read along with the lesson notes. With every lesson, you get bonus lesson notes. These give you the lesson in writing, the dialogue, the vocabulary, and the grammar explanations. So, as you listen to a lesson, read along with the lesson notes. By listening and reading along, you hear how each word is pronounced and can easily keep up. Number two, read with the dialogue study tool. With the dialogue study tool, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of a lesson's conversation. You get the text, the translation, the audio, and, if applicable, the romanization, so you can read and listen to each line individually. To practice your reading, reread and review each line until you master it. Then, move on to the next line. You get this feature in every one of our lessons. Number three, read along with the lesson transcript. You also get transcripts with every lesson. These are word-for-word -word scripts of everything that was said in the lesson and are completely free to access. So use these to read along. Number four, download the PDF notes and transcripts. Want to practice reading on your own time? Save the lesson notes and transcripts as PDFs to your device and keep them forever. That way you can open them up and practice reading at any time. You can also print the PDFs out to keep as physical reading material. Number five, practice with extensive reading books. Extensive reading is a learning tactic where you read as many books as possible at a level that's easy for you. And you follow these two rules. One, you skip over words you don't know. And two, you jump to a new book if the current one is boring. The goal is to help you master reading, vocab, and grammar simply by reading a lot without getting stuck on minor words. You can find extensive reading books from absolute beginner level to advanced. These are simple one line per page books and all of the translations are on the lesson page. Simply look for the extensive reading pathways in the lesson library. You can also download these books as PDFs and print them out. Number six, take your time and read slowly. Whether you're reading with the notes, books, or the dialogue tool, be sure to take your time. Read the lines slowly on the first try, just like a child would when they start learning to read. This is so you can get acquainted with every word. Number seven, then speed up your reading. Once you've read a line slowly and are familiar with the words, start speeding up. Reread that same line a little bit faster on the second try, and then a little faster on the third try. Doing this will help you read faster. Number eight, take the reading comprehension video lessons. These lessons are specifically designed to test your reading skills. You're presented with a real life scenario, such as reading a sign at the train station and are tested on the words presented on the screen. Don't worry, you get the answer at the end. And translations are available in the dialogue section. Number nine, get reading assignments from your Premium Plus teacher. You can also get assignments that cover listening, writing, speaking, and even reading from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number 10, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more reading lessons, then visit our lesson library and under category, choose reading and writing. You get instant access to all of the pathways and lessons that will help you master all areas of the language, including reading. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. See you next time. Bye. If you've studied your target language, but you can barely understand native speakers, you might be doing something wrong. You know the vocabulary and grammar they're using, but for some reason when they speak at a faster speed, you can't keep track of what's going on. Why is this happening? Have you spent all this time learning in vain? This is a common issue that all language learners face at some point or another. The truth is, it's actually a good problem to have because only students with a higher level of skill will experience it. When you know a lot of the language, but have trouble understanding native speakers, the problem is almost always with your listening skills. 
Learning what words mean and practicing how to use them in a sentence are both invaluable skills to develop. But people often forget that in addition to speaking, writing, and reading, we have to develop our listening skills in a foreign language as well. In this video, we'll look at three practical ways to improve your listening skills. Number one, practice active listening. One of the best ways to practice listening is to, well, listen to your target language. But this doesn't mean putting on some music and listening to it in the background as you do other things. You need to practice active listening. Get your hands on a recording of spoken language. You can use a movie, news broadcast, or a podcast. You can even try subscribing to a YouTube channel. Listen to a segment of the audio and do your best to write down what you hear. After a couple tries at this, go back and double check what you wrote against the script of what was actually said. If you're watching a movie, you can double check yourself by turning on the subtitles. Our language learning program is one of the best tools for developing your listening skills. You can listen to the conversation in a lesson and then check it back against the lesson transcripts. This is simple, easy, and you can be sure that the transcripts are correct. Number two, practice pronunciation. Any problems you have pronouncing new words correctly will be reflected back in your listening skills. It's hard for your brain to decipher and remember a sound, be it a letter or a word, that you don't know how to make yourself. A good accent will give you the ability to hear and pick out the otherwise unnatural new sounds. To develop your accent, focus on any sounds or letters that feel difficult or unnatural for you. Once you get more comfortable with the basic sounds, start to combine them using words and whole sentences. Listen to native speakers as much as possible and take note of how words and sounds can blend, morph, or get dropped in rapid speech. Do your best to listen to this phenomenon and imitate what you hear. Focus more on how the syllables are said together rather than simply saying the words next to each other. There is often a significant difference between how words are said individually and how they are said when spoken together in a rapid fire sentence. This is a big part of the reason language learners can know a lot of vocabulary and grammar but still not understand native speakers. Our playback feature is great for pronunciation practice. You can play back the podcast itself or listen to words individually. You can even listen back at a slower speed if you're having trouble catching the correct pronunciation at native speaker speed. Number three, make listening part of your routine. Now that you've started practicing active listening and pronunciation, make it a part of your regular learning. A lot a specific amount of time for each of your listening activities. For example, you might practice 10 minutes of active listening, followed by 10 minutes of practicing vowels, and then 10 minutes of imitation practice with a podcast. Now, you don't have to use this schedule exactly. Tailor it to your own needs and availability. The point is that you should make a conscious and decisive effort to practice your listening skills on a regular basis. It could be 30 minutes a day, or it might be 10. What matters most is that you practice consistently. These three tips will help you close any gap that might exist between your knowledge of your target language and your listening abilities. Understanding native speakers may seem daunting at first, but with a little time and perseverance, you will see your skills improve. And for even more ways to practice listening, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. How good is your target language? Do you know? And do you remember all the words and grammar rules you've learned? If not, here's how you can get your language skills assessed, improve your memory, and master the language faster. Check out our brand new assessments study tool. Sign up for a free lifetime account to access this brand new feature right now. With assessments, you can take assessment exercises after every few lessons, get tested on the words and grammar rules you learned in the last few lessons, get instant results, and see how your language skills are progressing. What makes this study tool so powerful? First, you remember more and learn faster. By taking regular assessments, you improve your memory through active recall, a science-backed learning tactic. Second, you stay engaged, instead of passively letting words go in one ear and out the other. And third, you can even get your speaking and writing skills assessed by a real teacher with a Premium Plus plan. Look for assessments inside our recommended learning pathways on the site. 
So, if you want to get your language assessed, remember more, and master the language faster, then take advantage of our brand new assessments. Click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. What's your reason for learning language? Is it a personal goal, a hobby, or do you have dreams of moving to a country where it's spoken? In this video, you'll learn why your reason is crucial for motivation and for your success in language learning. We'll look at the top 10 reasons for learning a language from language learners just like you. What's your number one reason for learning a language? Whatever your reason is, whether big or small, knowing it or knowing your why is crucial for success and motivation. Number one, I love the culture and the people who speak the language. This is a popular answer. Learning a language can be a great way to learn more about the culture and open up new ways to experience it. Number two, I want to understand my favorite songs, movies, and TV shows. That's right. Songs, movies, and shows are great ways to immerse yourself in the language. If you're spending your time learning and also immersing yourself, you'll learn faster. Number three, it's a beautiful language. Sometimes the answer is as simple as that. You have a genuine interest in the language itself. Number four, my family comes from a place where the language is spoken. This can be popular for students who have moved to a new country and might want to connect to their home country's culture. Learning a language lets them learn things about their heritage and communicate with people who can teach them more about their cultural history. If your grandmother speaks a different language from you, it can be pretty hard to connect. So a lot of people want to learn a language to connect to family members as well. Number five, I want to speak to my partner's family in their language. Similar to the reason above, perhaps you want to speak to your partner's parents or grandparents, but they don't speak your language. Not only can learning their native language let you connect with them on a more personal level, but it's also likely to impress them. Number six, I'm learning the language to impress someone. We have many students say that they want to learn a new language to impress someone in their life. This could be a teacher, a parent, a friend, or even someone they admire and look up to. It always feels good to accomplish something and have other people recognize and be proud of your achievement. And you see this very often in language learning. When you learn a new phrase or can make a longer conversation, the people around you are bound to be impressed. Number seven, a love of traveling. There's no surprise here. Many people want to learn a new language to be able to travel more. Because you can see new places and learn about different cultures, traveling is a popular hobby for many people. And what better way to connect with the people that you meet on your travel than by being able to speak with them in their native language. We have a lot of students who just want to learn some basic conversations to help them on their trips, but even this can help you day to day. Number eight, I want to live in a country that speaks the language. After traveling around, someone might discover a country that really appeals to them and they might decide they want to move there, but their language skills could use some work or maybe for a job or family reason, someone has to move to a new country. Not knowing the language can really make adjusting to a new home and even a new culture much more difficult. We have a lot of students who want to learn a language to help them when they move. Number nine, I just love learning languages. This is popular for people whose hobby is learning other languages. They fall in love with the process of actually studying and being able to speak in a new language. It's a huge feeling of accomplishment. Number 10, I want to open my mind and become more international. It's so important to expand your horizons and learn about more than your own culture. People around the world live their lives in different ways, and it's good to learn about them and how they interact. You never know what you could learn by opening your ears and mind to new things. Whatever your reason might be for learning a new language, as long as it keeps you motivated, it's a good one. Learning a new language is not an easy journey. It's one filled with lots of ups and downs. So keep in mind your reason and motivation for learning, whether it's so you can move to a new country or connect with a grandparent and let it push you towards success. And if you're ready to achieve your language goals, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye!
Hello, it's Christine, and we're here to do some Afrikaans today in the lesson 10 Things You Always Want to Hear. So we're all excited about this one, obviously, because I'm going to be telling you things that you want to hear. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. What's that? Oh, thanks. I just assume that you return the compliment. But it's always something that we really like to hear, especially if it's coming from that person that we've got our eye on. Um, but it's also just nice to tell people, if you walk past someone and you think they're looking good, let them know that they look like goed vandaag. Because it's always nice to make someone else's day. Ek miss jou. I miss you. Ek miss jou. I miss you. Long lost friends, long lost lovers, parents in different countries, whatever. Today's world, we're all over the globe. Our friends live in China. Our brother lives in England. Today, it's really common to know people that live really, really far away from us. And it's nice to sometimes receive a message saying, oh, they miss you. But it's also really nice to send a message to let someone know that you miss them. So get that phone out. Think about that friend and let them know, I miss you. Jij hebt een goede werk gedaan. You did a great job. Jij hebt een goede werk gedaan. You did a great job. That's always the best one you want to hear at school or at work because it means that you're on the right track, you're doing something good, and at the end of the day, you might get rewarded. Daar zal een bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Daar zal een bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. If, like I said before, jij doen goeie werk, then maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it means you're going to get that bonus at the end of the month and you can go on that extra long Christmas holiday this year. So, keep up the goeie werk. Jij is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Jij is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Now, that's one that you want to say for when your parents come over for dinner for the first time in your new flat, or you're inviting that boy over that you've had your eye on, um, and you're cooking them a fancy dinner, and it's the first time that you're using this new saucepan you bought yesterday, and they tell you that, and just, oh, what a relief. The food was great, the guy thinks it's great, or your parents think it's great. Anyone is happy to know that their food is good because it means that you're going to get to enjoy it the most because you get to have your food every night. Fat a break, ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. Fat a break, ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. That's the best to hear from your partner or your parents or your flatmate. What a great day it is when you get to just lounge on the sofa, watch some TV, catch up on those sports, do anything you want, even some painting or crafting. If you don't have to do the cleaning up, make a mess. <laughs> no jokes, be nice because next time it is your turn and then you're going to have to clean up someone else's mess. So just enjoy the day off. Enjoy it when someone tells you that they'll be doing the cleaning because next minute it'll be your turn again. And yay ven and you win. And yay ven. And you win. Whatever you're doing, whether it's Saturday night and you're playing board games or you're playing card games on the beach with some friends, it's always a great one to hear that you're the winner because it means that you did your best and you won. So you've earned it. Jij was raag. You were right. Jij was raag. You were right. You won that argument. You were right when you said that this was the case and they said that was the case. It's such a nice feeling, you get all bubbly inside when someone you've been arguing with or just made a point tells you that you were right. It's like the I told you so and it's the best feeling ever. Who doesn't love that? Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. What an exciting thing to hear. You've just come home, you've had a really long day and your friend's coming over and they tell you that they bought you something besonders. How exciting. Open it up straight away and just remember, if you don't like it, still look surprised because they think it's besonders. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. You've got an unlimited budget, an unbeperkte begroting to do whatever you want to make this party, this function, this shebang, the best one there is because you've got everything you need 
you can get anything you want, go crazy and enjoy it while it lasts because it doesn't come around often. So we've come to the end of today's session of 10 things you always want to hear. There's obviously plenty more things that we always want to hear. So let us know in the comments below if you like to hear these things or if they irritate you, hopefully not because they're quite, they're quite nice things to hear. Um, but if you agree with some of them, if someone recently told you them and let us know how you felt because that would be really cool to like let other people feel that joy that you felt as well. Um, so like, comment, subscribe and keep visiting our channel AfrikaansPod101.com Hi everyone, how are your Afrikaans listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man gee verslag van sy maatskapie verkoop prestasie op a vergadering. Watter twee grafieke gebruik hy vir die aanbieding? Kijk asseblief na die volgstuk. Die grafiek links toon die maatskapie se verkope oor die laaste drie jaar en die verkope verspelling vir die huidige jaar. Die grafiek aan die rechterkant wees die maandelikse uiteensetting in verkope tot oktober van hierdie jaar. Kijk nou asseblief na die linker grafiek. Dit wees dat verkope steeds toeneem die laaste drie jaar. En as ons ons verkope aanhou verhoog, sal die totale verkope die jaar een verhooging wees in vergelijking met die verkope van die vorige jaar. Volgende. Kijk asseblief na die grafiek aan die rechterkant. Die rechter grafiek wees dat die veldtochte, wat ons in april en in augustus gehou het, redelijk effectief was. Ek sien, maar die verkoop het afgeneem in mei en september, na die veldtochte. Ja, maar die type stuiting is onvermijdelijk. Ek verwacht dat die totaal verkoop vir die jaar een verhooging sal wees in vergelijking met die verkoop van vorige jaar. Wat er twee grafieke gebruik hy vir die aanbieding? Een man gee verslag van sy maatskapie se verkoop prestasie op een vergadering. Wat er twee grafieke gebruik hy vir die aanbieding? Kijk asseblief na die volgstuk. Die grafiek links toon die maatskapie se verkoop oor die laaste drie jaar en die verkoop verspelling vir die huidige jaar. Die grafiek aan die rechterkant wees die maandelikse uiteensetting in verkope tot oktober van hierdie jaar. Kijk nou asseblief na die linker grafiek. Dit wees dat verkope steeds toeneem die laaste drie jaar. En as ons ons verkope aanhou verhoog, sal die totale verkope die jaar een verhooging wees in vergelijking met die verkope van die vorige jaar. Volgende. Kijk asseblief na die grafiek aan die rechterkant. Die rechter grafiek wees dat die veldtochte, wat ons in april en in augustus gehou het, redelijk effectief was. Ek sien, maar die verkoop het afgeneem in mei en september, na die veldtochte. Ja, maar die type stuiting is onvermijdelijk. Ek verwacht dat die totaal verkoop vir die jaar, een verhooging sal wees in vergelijking met die verkoop van vorige jaar. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man praat met sy vrou op die telefoon. Wat gaan hy koop? Hi, ek is op pad huis toe. Ok, kan jy een paar goed koop op pad huis toe? Seker. Wat moet ek kry? Ons het melk en brood nodig vir ontbijt morgen. Melk en brood? Ok, hoeveel bokse melk? Een sal genoeg wees. Ok, enige iets anders? 
Hou gaan aan. Ek kyk of ons botter het. Oké, okay, ons het botter. Recht so. Het ons enige bier oor? Ja, ons het nog een bottel oor. Oké, okay. so ons hoef nie nog te koop nie. Ja, ons het nog een bottel oor. Wat gaan hy koop? Een man praat met sy vrou op die telefoon. Wat gaan hy koop? Hey, ek is op pad huis toe. Oké, okay. kan jy een paar goed koop op pad huis toe? Seker, wat moet ek kry? Ons het melk en brood nodig vir ons buitmore. Melk en brood? Oké, okay. hoeveel bokse melk? Eén sal genoeg wees. Oké, okay. enige iets anders? Hou gaan aan, ek kyk of ons botter het. Oké, okay, ons het botter. Recht so. Het ons enige bier oor? Ja, ons het nog een bottel oor. Oké, okay. so ons hoef nie nog te koop nie. Ja, ons het nog een bottel oor. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to know how to improve your listening and speaking skills, be able to save conversations, listen to them as many times as you want, and learn hundreds of practical everyday conversations? Well, there is an easy way to do this. In this video, we'll go over how to speak more using the dialogue track. So, what is the dialogue track? The dialogue track is an audio track with just the conversation from the lesson. It's only about 10 to 30 seconds long. Let's say you're looking at a five-minute lesson about ordering food at a restaurant. First, you hear a conversation. Then our teachers explain every grammar rule and translate every word, so you know what it all means. That's where the dialogue track comes in. It gives you just the conversation. Here's what makes the dialogue track so powerful. First, you can quickly review the conversation without re-listening to the lesson. The dialogue track is just 10 to 30 seconds long, so it won't take you very long to cover both new and old information. This makes it perfect for a quick review of what you've just learned, and it helps keep it fresh in your brain. Second, you'll remember the conversations easier. Listen on repeat, like you would with a song, and the words, phrases, and grammar rules will stick better. And the more you come back to re-listen, the better it will all stick. Third, you'll speak more of your target language. So if you have 10, 20, or 100 dialogue tracks like that, then you have 10, 20, or 100 conversations that you'll know inside out and that you can use in real life. For example, conversations like catching up with friends, ordering at a restaurant, talking about your family, introducing yourself, and much, much more. Fourth, you improve your listening skills and can immerse yourself in the language. So imagine you've finished 20 lessons and you've downloaded 20 dialogue tracks to your phone. That's 20 conversations. You can create a playlist and play those 20 tracks and get used to the language and immerse yourself. To recap what we just learned, here's what you do to make the most of the dialogue tracks. First, after you finish a lesson, download the dialogue track. Save it to your computer or phone so you can listen to it on repeat whenever possible. Just replace three to 15 minutes of music listening for some language review. Next, if you've finished 20 lessons, you should have 20 dialogue tracks. Use those to create a playlist of these dialogue tracks so that you can listen to all kinds of conversations. And finally, try shadowing the conversations that you hear. This will become super easy once you've heard the conversation enough times. But if you're still struggling with a word or two, go back to the lesson and check the line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation to find the words you need to practice. Boost your speaking skills with the dialogue track and check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Repeat after the speaker when you hear the beep. Ma. Ma. Mother. Ma. Ma.
ma pa pa father pa 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 Younger sister. Younger sister. Younger sister. Younger sister. Younger sister. Younger sister. Our sister. Our sister. Older sister. Our sister. Our sister. Our sister. Our broer. Our broer. Older brother. Our Broer. Our broer. Our broer. Younger broer. Younger broer. Younger brother. Younger broer. Younger broer. Younger broer. Oma. Oma. Grandmother. Oma. 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 Opa. Opa. Grandfather. Opa. 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 Tani. Tani. Aunt. Tani. 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 Um. Um. Uncle. Um. 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 Neafi. Neafi. Male cousin. Neafi. 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 Nuchi. Nuchi. Female cousin. Nuchi. 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 Man. Man. Husband. Man. 
man. Man. Vrouw. Vrouw. Wife. Vrouw. 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 Sien. Sien. Sun. Sien. 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 Dochter. Dochter. Daughter. Dochter. 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 You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. Far sight van die stad. You've just gotten off a bus at a bus terminal. Suddenly, a person hands you a leaflet. What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? The offer is buy two, get one free. Koop twee, krijg je een gratis. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man in a vrouw gesels. Hoeveel mensen in totaal kom na die partijkie toe? Die partijkie is more. Wie kom na die partijkie toe? Twee van ons, twee vriende van my en die onderwijser. Dit maak vijf. O, die onderwijser bring sy vrou saam. Heel te mal reg. Hoeveel mense in totaal kom na die partijkie toe?
a man en a vrou gesels. Hoeveel mense in totaal kom na die partijkie toe? Die partijkie is more. Wie kom na die partijkie toe? Twee van ons, twee vrienden van my en die onderwijzer. Dit maak vijf. O, die onderwijzer bring sy vrou saam. Heeltemal raag. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi everyone, how are your Afrikaans listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man is op soek na verjaardag geskenk vir sy vrou by die juwelier. Wat er halsnoer gaan hy koop? Kan ek help? Ek is op soek na verjaardag geskenk vir my vrou. Wat sou u voorstel? Wel, wat van hier die halsnoer? Hmm, dit lyk bykie lang. Wat van hier die een? Ons het een met de blom ontwerp en een ander een met de hart. Ek is op soek na iets een bykie meer gesofistikeerd. Hoeveel kost die perl halsnoer? Dit kost 50 dollar. Hmm, dit is een bykie te duur. Oké, okay, ek sal die eerste invat. Seker, hier is dit. Wat er halsnoer gaan hy koop? A man is op soek na verjaardag geskenk vir sy vrou by die juwelier. Wat er halsnoer gaan hy koop? Kan ek help? Ek is op soek na verjaardag geskenk vir my vrou. Wat sou u voorstel? Wel, wat van hier die halsnoer? Hmm, dit lyk bykie lang. Wat van hier die een? Ons het een met de blom ontwerp en een ander een met de hart. Ek is op soek na iets een bykie meer gesofistikeerd. Hoeveel kost die perl halsnoer? Dit kost 50 dollar. Hmm, dit is een bykie te duur. Oké, okay, ek sal die eerste invat. Seker, hier is dit. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to ask and answer the question, how do you say this? After watching this video, you'll be able to ask someone how a word is pronounced. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your How to Say Something PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Who say means dit? Dit is a parkeerterrein. Once more with the English translation. Who say means dit? How do you say this? Dit is a parkeerterrein. It's parking lot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, how do you say this? That's, who say means dit? Listen to it again. Who say means dit? Who say means dit? This Afrikaans sentence literally translates into, how does a person say this? But it means, how do you say this in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Dit is a Word It's word For example, it's parking lot Dit is 
a parkeerterrein. Dit is a parkeerterrein. Here are a few useful words you can use with the same pattern. Parking lot. Parkeerterrein. Parkeerterrein. Giraffe. Camiopard. Camiopard. Travel. Rice. Rice. Invasion. Anfall. Anfall. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Who say means that? That is a camio bard. Who say means that? That is rice. Who say means that? That is a anfall. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how do you say this? Who say means that? Imagine it's the word giraffe. Do you remember how to say giraffe? Camio bard. Camio bard. Say, it's giraffe. That is a camio bard. Now answer the question saying, it's giraffe. Who say means that? It is a camio bard. Now imagine the word is travel. Do you remember how to say travel? Rice. Rice. Say, it's travel. It is rice. Now, answer the question saying it's travel. Who say means that? That is rice. Now imagine the word is invasion. Do you remember how to say invasion? Anfall. Anfall. Say, it's invasion. It is a onfall. Now answer the question saying it's invasion. Who say means that? That is a onfall. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask someone how something is said. You are now able to ask how to say something like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell us, which word do you think is the hardest to pronounce? Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 core Afrikaans words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you have learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. 
You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, build your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get going. First is haunt. Dog. Haunt. Her haunt. Dog. The hare haunt hard loop after the ball on. The shaggy dog is running after the ball. The hare haunt hard loop after the ball on. Cut. Cat. Cut. Cat. Cat. My cat hard on fun om a oil kit to knip in the middag. My cat hard on fun om a oil kit to knip in the middag. My cat likes to take a nap in the afternoon. My cat hard on fun om a oil kit to knip in the middag. Hamster. 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 Hamsters slaap gedurende die dag. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamsters slaap gedurende die dag. Warm. 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 Die sop moet warm wees. The soup must be warm. Die sop moet warm wees. Rien. Rain. Rien. Rien. Rain. Ek hou van swimmer rien. I like summer rain. Ek hou van swimmer rien. Tomati. Tomato. Tomati. Tomati. Tomato. Tomati is very gesond. Tomatoes are very healthy. <laughs> Tomati is very gesond. Arbei. Strawberry. Arbei. Arbei. Strawberry. Arbei Romeis is the lekkerste. Strawberry ice cream is the nicest. Arbei Romeis is the lekkerste. Kersi, cherry. Kersi, kersi, cherry. Ek wil kersies eet. I want to eat cherries. Ek wil kersies eet. Kind, child. Kind, kind, child. Die kinders sit by die picknick tafel. The children are sitting at the picnic table. Die kinders sit by die picnic tafel. Friend. 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 Dit is my friend. This is my friend. Dit is my friend. Volwassene. Adult. Vol wassene. Vol wassene. Adult. Partijkeer is dit nie lekker om een volwassene te wees nie. Sometimes being an adult just isn't very fun. Partijkeer is dit nie lekker om een volwassene te wees nie. Fiets. Bicycle. Fiets. Fiets. Bicycle. Hoe lang neem dit jou van hier na jou huis met de fiets? How long does it take from here to your house by bike? Hoe lang neem dit jou van hier tot jou huis met de fiets? Car. 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 Ek wil een nieuwe car koop. I want to buy a new car. Ek wil een nieuwe car koop. Motorfiets. Motorcycle. Motorfiets. Motorfiets. 
motorcycle. Ek weet nie hoe my motorfiets te rai nie. I do not know how to ride a motorcycle. Ek weet nie hoe om my motorfiets te rai nie. Brompony. Scooter. Brompony. Brompony. Scooter. A helm is verplichting as jy a brompony rai. A helmet is required to ride a scooter. A helm is verplichting as jy a brompony rai. Boot. 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 A boot verbind die eiland met die vaste land. A boat connects the island to the mainland. A boot verbind the eiland met die vaste land. Jellyfish. 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 A jellyfish steek is baie painful. A jellyfish sting is very painful. A jellyfish steek is baie painful. Kreef, lobster, kreef, 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 lobster, kreef is baie dier, lobsters are very expensive, kreef is baie dier, krap, krab, krap, krap, krab, Krabbe loop skeep. Crabs walk sideways. Krabbe loop skeef. Skulpat. Turtle. Skulpat. Skulpat. Turtle. Die see skulpat swim in die see. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Die see skulpat swim in die see. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you will need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Tot ziens! If a native speaker of your target language spoke to you, how much of their speech do you think you could understand? Your answer, of course, depends a lot on your vocabulary skills. In this video, we're going to cover five tips for memorizing vocabulary quickly. When you learn new vocabulary words, you increase your skills in reading, writing, listening, and speaking. As you learn a language, you gain the ability to recognize vocabulary words and learn when to use them. It's important to have a vocabulary that covers a range of topics so that you can understand important announcements, safety information, conversations between friends, and posts on social media. In this video, we're going to talk about why vocabulary is important, some features and the tools we offer that help you focus on memorizing, and some tips for memorizing words faster. Throughout this video, remember that consistency is a key component to memorization. If you haven't done this already, consider adding a number of vocabulary words you'd like to master to your monthly language goals. Okay, let's get to our tips. First, master our core word lists. We offer 11 core word lists. These lists are made up of the most common words in your target language. The 100 core word list is the best list for absolute beginners. After you master that list, you can move on to the other lists in the series. The 2000 core word list is a combination of all of the lists plus an additional 1000 words. Having knowledge of about 2000 vocabulary words in your target language will set you up for success. Knowing a variety of words in your target language is important because it allows you to speak about and understand many different topics. While grammar is certainly important, having the vocabulary you need to go about daily life, study, or make plans is essential. So, how do you use the core word lists with our flashcard feature? Our flashcard tool can display the vocabulary word, show a picture and translation, and play an audio recording of the vocabulary. 
You'll work on improving your recognition, production, and listening comprehension skills. Using a tool like this helps you associate new words with images. You also get to hear pronunciation and pitch accents from native speakers. You have the ability to choose how many new cards you'd like to learn daily. By the way, using the 2000 core word list isn't the only way to review all key vocabulary words. You can also merge your preferred lists. If you lack confidence in speaking, studying vocabulary can help you. If you master the most common words in your target language, speaking will become a bit easier. Among our core word lists are popular topics relating to hobbies, nature, food, and recreation. If you need some help making sentences with your new vocabulary, you can take a look at the core word list example sentences for ideas. These are all steps you can take to improve your speaking confidence. Second, create your own sentences. Creating your own sentences is a great way to work on memorizing new vocabulary. You can create sentences related to your daily life so that you can easily remember the sentences and use them. You can also try creating sentences you think you're likely to need before a conversation with a native speaker. In addition to our core word lists, we also have a dictionary feature. If you need help finding a certain vocabulary word, you can search for it in our dictionary. The dictionary includes audio from native speakers, so you can hear how the word is pronounced naturally and at a slower speed. With a premium membership, you'll have access to your own personal word bank. You'll be able to add words from the dictionary and our lessons to this word bank and study them using flashcards. Another thing that can help you with memorization is reading along with lesson dialogues and listening to the host's explanations. When you find a sentence that stands out, or when you make a sentence you think will be useful, make sure to actually use the sentence. Your memory will go stronger and stronger as you review sentences and practice saying them from memory. Third, read every day. How often do you read in your target language? Reading is a fun activity that can motivate you to spend some time studying new vocabulary. When you read, you encounter words you've seen in lessons, but you also find new words. Apart from reading for fun, our language learning program offers reading comprehension pathways for all levels. These pathways feature video lessons with vocabulary you're likely to see in real life. For example, an advanced pathway might include lessons for understanding promotional information, medical instructions, and directions. These pathways are designed to test your ability to recognize words. Another way to memorize words fast is by learning songs in your target language. If you're studying a language with sounds that are very different from your first language, this can be a really helpful tactic. You can make a monthly goal to memorize one to three songs you like in your target language. You can find the lyrics to the song with a search online, and you can search for a translation as well. As you listen to the song, read the lyrics. This can help you connect the sounds you're hearing with the characters or the letters you're reading. And remember, the songs can be from anywhere. It could be a kid's song, a new pop song, or a TV show theme. You can choose. The key is to find a fun way to read every day. This will help you improve your vocabulary. Fourth, test your listening skills. Test your listening skills with our listening comprehension pathways. Each of the pathways presents a conversation, asks a question, and then gives a breakdown. In our audio lessons, the hosts break down the dialogue by talking about the usage of key vocabulary and phrases. They also explain the grammar. After you listen to the breakdown, the dialogue is easier to understand. Make sure to re-listen to the lesson dialogues to review these important concepts. Another way to use our site for listening comprehension is by changing the flashcard settings. With our flashcards, you have the option to focus on building listening comprehension. If you choose this setting, the front of your flashcard will play an audio clip, and the back will show the answer. Additionally, if you're a Premium Plus member, you can practice listening with your native speaker teacher. You can request audio responses from your teacher instead of text. If you understand their message, you can respond with an audio file of your own, or with text. If you don't fully understand, you can ask your teacher for help. One more thing you can do is use TV shows to practice listening. You can choose a segment of a show to practice. Watch it once with subtitles, then once without subtitles. Determine how much you can comprehend, then look up the words you don't know. Fifth, take vocabulary quizzes. There are many ways to test yourself with vocabulary quizzes. Each of our lessons includes a vocabulary slideshow and quizzes that you can use for review. We also have video vocab pathways, which introduce new vocabulary based on certain themes. 
and they include pictures. You can also try making your own written tests with our flashcard feature. Change the flashcard settings according to your preferences. You can choose between recognition, production, and listening comprehension card types. Based on the card type you chose, write down either the vocabulary word or its translation when the card appears. Check your answers and give yourself a score for your study session. Writing vocabulary by hand is another great way to work on memorizing words. Earlier, we talked about learning vocabulary with songs. A fun and effective way to test your vocabulary and writing skills is to fill in the blanks. Copy and paste the lyrics of a song into a document and replace some of the words with blanks. Test your knowledge of the lyrics by filling in the blanks with the correct words. You can make it a little easier by including a word box, a list of vocabulary to use somewhere in the song. You can also do this with dialogues you want to practice from TV shows. To make sure you get all of the tools mentioned in this video, subscribe to our premium plan. You'll get access to all of our resources, including the core word lists and the flashcard tool. So to recap, in this video, we talked about five tips for memorizing new words. They were master our core word lists, create your own sentences, read every day, test your listening skills, and take vocabulary quizzes. These tips are fun and effective ways to help you reach your vocabulary goals a bit faster. If you want to go the extra mile, subscribe to Premium Plus to get access to your own native teacher. What are your vocabulary goals? How will you achieve them? Share your answers in the comment section below. And for even more tips on how to remember vocabulary fast, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man bale dokter se kantoor. Hoe laat moet hy by die dokter se kantoor wees? Hello, hoe kan ek jou help? Hoe laat sluit jylle vandag? Ons sluit om 6 uur, maar kom asjeblief in voor 5.30. Ok, dankie. Hoe laat moet hy by die dokter se kantoor wees? A man bel a dokter se kantoor. Hoe laat moet hy by die dokter se kantoor wees? Hallo, hoe kan ek jou help? Hoe laat sluit jylle vandag? Ons sluit om 6 uur, maar kom asjeblief in voor 5.30. Ok, dankie. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 core Afrikaans words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is Horluesi. Watch. Horluesi. Horluesi. Watch. Dit weis een uur op my horluesi. It shows one o'clock on my watch. Dit weis een uur. Op my horloesi. Bril. Glasses. Bril. Bril. Glasses. Sonder a bril kan ek nie goed sien nie. Without glasses, I can't see well. Sonder 
een bril, kan ek nie goed sien nie. Baikie, jacket. Baikie, baikie, jacket. Jy het een slechte gewoonte om jou baikie in die gang te los. You have the bad habit of leaving your jacket in the hallway. Jy het een slechte gewoonte om jou baikie in die gang te los. Ontvang, receive. Ontvang, ontvang, receive. Ek het twee postkaarte ontvang. I receive two postcards. Ek het twee postkaarte ontvang. Soek, search. Soek, soek, search. Ek moet soek vir een woonstel. I need to search for an apartment. Ek moet soek vir een woonstel. Neem, take. Neem, take. Neem. Die vlug neem 12 ure. The flight takes 12 hours. Die vlug neem 12 ure. Swak. Week. Swak. Swak. Week. My beenspiere is swak. My leg muscles are weak. My beenspiere is swak. Stat. Strong. Stat. Stat. Strong. Die knoppel ruik baie stat. The garlic smell is very strong. Die knoppel ruik baie stat. Koot. Cold. Koot. Koot. Cold. Dit is koot. It is cold. Dit is koot. Warm. Hot. Warm. Warm, hot. Ek is mal daar oor om warm thee op een koue dag te drink. I love to drink hot tea on a cold day. Ek is mal daar oor om warm thee op een koue dag te drink. Snarks, funny. Snarks, snarks, funny. Die boek is baie snarks. This book is pretty funny. Die boek is baie snaaks. Pashke. Peach. Pashke. Pashke. Peach. Baie vrouwens van die ouwe generatie in Suid-Afrika het pashkes en pere ingele. Many ladies from the older generation in South Africa used to preserve peaches and pears. Baie vrouwens van die ouwe generatie in Suid-Afrika het perskes en pere ingele. Limoen, orange. Limoen, limoen, orange. Rooi limoensap het een lekker bitter soet nasmaak. Blood orange het has a nice bittersweet aftertaste. Rooi limoensap het a lekker bittersweet nasmaak. Artapel Potato Artapel Artapel Potato Die artapels kom van Peru af. Potatoes come from Peru. Die artapels Kom van Peru af. Soeaboen, soeabien. Soeaboen, soeaboen, soeabien. A soeaboen is a type of boen. A soeabien is a kind of bean. A soeaboen is a type boen. Groente, vegetable. Groente. Groente, vegetable. Is a tomato a vrug of a groente? Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Is a tomato a vrug of a groente? 
cui, cow, cui, c ui, cow. Boeren zal alle rande dieren groot maak, van koeien tot hunders, perden en varken. Farmers rear all kinds of animals, from cows to chickens, horses and pigs. Boeren zal alle rande dieren groot maak, van koeien tot hunders, perden en varken. Vark Pig Vark Vark Pig Varken is intelligente dieren. Pigs are intelligent animals. Varke is intelligente dieren. Paard. Horse. Paard. Paard. Horse. Ek het een wit paard gehad. I had a white horse. Ek het een wit paard gehad. Sneeuw. Snow. Sneeuw. Sneeuw. Snow. Die sneeuw val in die bos. The snow is falling in the woods. Die sneeuw val in die bos. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens! How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A young seen lees uit sy journal. Wat was die eerste ding wat die seen vandag gedoen het? Die weer was wonderlik vandag. Ek het vanmiddag by die swembad gaan swem. Ek het die fliek gaan kyk in die aand. Ek het ook die hele ochend gestudeer. Vandag was nie sleg nie. Wat was die eerste ding wat die seen vandag gedoen het? A jong seen lees uit sy journaal. Wat was die eerste ding wat die seen vandag gedoen het? Die weer was wonderlik vandag. Ek het vanmiddag by die swembad gaan swem. Ek het die fliek gaan kyk in die aand. Ek het ook die hele ochend gestudeer. Vandag was nie sleg nie. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Afrikaans listening skills? First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man and a vrou kyk dier a spijskaart in a restaurant. Wat gaan die man bestel? Wat gaan jy bestel? Die pizza lyk heerlik. Ek dink dis wat ek gaan bestel. Ek het gister pizza gehad. So, Ok, wat van a hamburger? Klink goed. Ek dink dis wat ek sal bestel. Wat gaan die man bestel? A man en a vrou kyk dier a spijskaart in a restaurant. Wat gaan die man bestel? Wat gaan jy bestel? Die pizza lyk heerlik. Ek dink dis wat ek gaan bestel. Ek het gister pizza gehad. So, Ok, wat van a hamburger? Klink goed. Ek dink dis wat ek sal bestel. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. In 
this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 core Afrikaans words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you have learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is Heng Show Heft He emp Shirt Her broek en hemp is weg Her trousers and shirt are missing Her broek en hemp is weg Broek Pants Broek Broek Hy het sy broek geskeer toe hy gespring het. He tore his pants when he jumped. Hy het sy broek geskeer toe hy gespring het. Rok Dress Rok R-O-K Dress Ek het 50% afslag gekry op my rok. I got a 50% discount on my dress. Ek het a 50% afslag gekry op my rok. Se 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 Die titel van a boek sê iets oor die boek self. Die titel van die boek sê iets van die boek self. The title of a book says something about the book itself. Die titel van a boek sê iets oor die boek self. Bel Call Bel B-L Call Bel die polisie asseblief. Please call the police. Bel die polisie asseblief. Vind Find Vind is makkelijk om te vind. The exit is easy to find. Die uitgang is makkelijk om te vind. Skoen Clean Skoen Skoen Clean Die handdoek is nie skoen nie. The towel is not clean. Die handdoek is nie skoen nie. Vuil Dirty Vuil Vuil Dirty Die papiere is vuil en bruin. The papers are dirty and brown. Die papiere is vuil en bruin. Wortel Carrot Wortel Wortel Carrot Snij die wortels eerste. Cut the carrots first. Snij die wortels eerste. Ui Onion Ui Ui Onion Ek hou nie van uie nie. I don't like onions. Ek hou nie van uie nie. Blaarslaai Lettuce Blaarslaai Blaarslaai Lettuce My slaai het blaarslaai en tomatie. My salad only has lettuce and tomato. My slaai het blaarslaai en tomatie. Scarf Sheep Scarf Scarf 
die skaap eer die groen gras. The sheep is eating the green grass. Die skaap eet die groen gras. Haas Rabbit Haas Ha aas Rabbit Die bruin haas eet blare in die tuin. The brown rabbit is eating leaves in the garden. Die bruin haas eet blare in die tuin. Rob Seal Rob Rob Seal Robbe lewe in die koeler areas. Seals live in the coldest areas. Robbe lewe in die koeler areas. Wolk, cloud, wolk, w -ok. cloud. Grijs wolken wijs meestal dat het gaan reen. Grey clouds usually indicate rain. Grijs wolken wijs meestal dat het gaan reen. Sonnig, sunny, sonnig. Die weer van vandaag is zonnig. Today's weather is sunny. Die weer van vandaag is zonnig. Reenerig. Rainy. Reenerig. Reen -erig. Rainy. Dit zal reenerig die zaterdag wees. It will be rainy this Saturday. Dit zal reenerig die zaterdag wees. Baobab, baby. Baobab, baobab, baby. Geluk met jullie nieuwe baba. Congratulations on your new baby. Geluk met jullie nieuwe baba. Maisie, girl. Maisie, girl. Acting, acting, baby Maisie. I think I know this girl. Acting, acting, the Maisie. Sinky, boy. Sinky, sinky, boy. The klein Sinky speel video speelikies elke aand na hy hart geleer het. The little boy plays video games every evening after studying hard. The klein Sinky Speel video speelikies elke aand na hy hard geleer het. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review. The monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, new study tools, and discover new resources. By the way, you can download all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see right now on the website. So click the link in the description to sign up for your free lifetime account and start speaking in minutes. Okay, today's topic is how to write 1,000 words in your target language in five minutes a day. First, we'll look at the super simple tactic for practicing writing. Second, the language learning benefits of writing. And third, we'll learn how to write 1,000 words with a free study tool. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, do you know the seven tested ways to learn language fast? With this new ebook, you'll learn how to use our learning system to speak better, remember more words, and improve fast. Download it for free right now. Second, the new Occupations Conversation Cheat Sheet. Can you talk about your job and your target language? Get this cheat sheet to learn how. You'll get all the must-know words and phrases for jobs and occupations. Third, 20 phrases for daily routines. 
If you can't talk about your day yet, then this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must know phrases from talking about waking up and brushing your teeth to having dinner and going to sleep. And finally, with the new phrases to express your fears lesson, you'll be able to talk about what you're afraid of, like ghosts, rejection, or public speaking, all in your target language. Find the words you need in this lesson. To get these free lessons and resources, just click the link in the description below. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to write 1,000 words in your target language in five minutes a day. So, what's the best way to practice writing and improve? The language learning technique we'll talk about today is very simple. Copying and writing lines into a notebook. This is easy to implement and will take you only five minutes. So let's talk about what makes this technique so powerful. First, it's super easy to do. Copying out lines, say from a textbook or an article, takes no thinking whatsoever, no writer's block. You don't have to worry about what to write. If you want to practice writing, this is the easiest thing to do. You can do it any time of day. It's a skill you can practice on your own. Second, writing helps you retain information. Why? Because the more you interact with the language, the better you remember it. So when writing out words, you're focused on them and you're reading them at the same time. This helps the information stick in your mind. Third, you learn new words, phrases, and grammar indirectly. If you come across new words as you practice with this technique, writing them out will help you remember them. Fourth, you indirectly improve your speaking and reading skills as well. By copying out lines, including lines with new words and phrases, you improve other areas of the language, not just writing. Fifth, it's valuable language output practice. You need equal amounts of input, reading and listening, and output, speaking and writing, to truly master a language. Writing is the perfect way to practice output. And sixth, imitate great writers by copying out what your favorite writers have written, word for word. By doing this, you get inspired and you get used to a certain style of writing. And the same goes for language, you get used to it. So, how do you apply these tactics? What can you do? Write 1,000 words with our free study tool. Now, we're not suggesting you write 1,000 words in one day. Rather, you can do it in one month by spending five minutes a day. So, here's how. First, download the free Daily Dose of Language app for the iPhone, iPad, or Android. Why? You'll get a free mini lesson daily with text that you can copy out. You'll also get daily reminders about your lessons, so this will keep you on track. Find a new lesson every day. Today might be a phrase, tomorrow may be a culture lesson, then a grammar lesson, but with each one, you'll get sample sentences. You'll receive a daily reminder telling you a new lesson is available. Open up the lesson, read through it, and copy out the sample sentences. And that's it, you're done for the day. This takes five minutes or less. The next day, repeat the process. Open up the free lesson and copy out the lines. To reach 1,000 words in one month, you need to write about 35 words a day. It's as simple as copying the lines. Through this, you'll learn more words and phrases and will practice grammar. It will help you to remember the things you've already studied. You'll directly improve your writing skills and will indirectly improve your reading and speaking skills. You can do all of this with the free daily lessons sent by the Daily Dose app. It'll keep you on track with daily reminders. You can apply this tactic with any other resource too, whether it's your own textbook or online articles. You can also use our lesson notes or the dialogue study tool. Give it a try and let us know how it works out. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about a radically different way to break your routine and master a language. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Hello, Amal. Echoes Anne Marie. Hi, everybody. I'm Anne Marie. 
Welcome to AfrikaansPod101.com's Afrikaans in 3 Minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Afrikaans. In the last lesson, you learned how to count in Afrikaans. I hope you spent some time practicing the numbers because they will come in handy for this lesson. We're going to learn how to go shopping using Afrikaans in South Africa. Before we go, you need to know how to say how much is it? Who feel cost it? Who feel cost it? Okay, are you ready to go shopping in South Africa? Let's go. Let's say you see something you like and want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing you say is skistoch. Do you remember what that means? It's excuse me. Skistoch. Who feel cost it? Excuse me, how much is it? Skistoch. Who feel cost it? At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying dit kost. This means it costs. For example, dit kost vijf en vijftig rand. What number is vijf en vijftig? It's 55. So this means it costs 55 rand. Or he could say dit kost vier en sieventig rand. It costs 74 rand. Instead of saying it, dit, you can be more specific by saying this, hiri, or that, dardi. So you can say, who feel cost hiri item, meaning how much is this item? Who feel cost hiri item? Who feel cost dardi item, meaning how much is that item? Who feel cost dardi item? Item has the same meaning as item in English. Now it's time for Anne-Marie's tip. If you're looking for a place where you can enjoy shopping and sightseeing, I recommend you visit Cape Town and the Cape Peninsula. While Cape Town has many different attractions and shopping centers to offer the millions of visitors who come each year, you can also enjoy the views from Table Mountain and see the wildlife and natural beauty of the Cape Peninsula. So at this point, can you count in rand in Afrikaans? You are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll see you in our next Afrikaans in 3 minutes lesson. Lekker dag! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 core Afrikaans words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is hunt, hand, hunt, hand, hunt, hand. Die kind steek sy hand op. The child is raising his hand. Die kind steek sy hand op. Arm. 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 Twee arms op. The two arms are raised. Twee arms op. Foot. 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 Foot, foot. A foot hit five twinner. A foot has five toes. A foot hit five twinner. Bien, leg. Bien, bien, leg. Long bien, long leg. Long bien. Finger, 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 
My finger bluey. My finger is bleeding. My finger bluey. Rug. Back. Rug. Rug. Back. My rug is seer. My back hurts. My rug is seer. Mag. Stomach. Mag. Mag. Stomach. Ek het a mag seer. I have a stomach ache. Ek het a mag seer. Borsh. Chest. Borsh. Borsh. Chest. Extrale van a borsh. X-ray of a chest. Extrale van a borsh. Januari. January. January. Jan Yori. January. Dinsdag, the eerste January. Tuesday, January 1st. Dinsdag, the eerste January. February. 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 Niagentwintigste. February. February 29th. Niagentwintigste. February. Mart. March. Mart. Mart. March. Dit is nou april, so verlede maand was Mart. It is now April, so last month was March. Dit is now April, so verlede maand was Maart. April. 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 Dit gebeur elke jaar in April. It happens every year in April. Dit. Gebeur elke jaar in april. Mei. 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 Daar is een belangrijke examen in mei. There is an important exam in mei. Daar is een belangrijke examen in mei. Juni. June. Juni. Juni. June. Ons gaan trouw in juni. We are getting married in June. Ons gaan trouw in juni. Juli. July. Juli. Juli. July. Maand van juli. Month of July. Maand van juli. Augustus. August. Augustus. Augustus. August. Warm Augustusdag. Hot August day. Warm Augustusdag. September. 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 Eerste. September. September first. Eerste. September. Oktober. October. Oktober. Oktober. October. Halloween fall op de 31ste Oktober. Halloween falls on the October 31st. Halloween fall op the 31ste October. November. 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 
Ach, I'm a skiing to scarf stuff to Dean November. Maybe I'm going to Cape Town this November. Ek gaan miskien Kaapstad toe die November. December. 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 Durban is a algemene December vakantie plek. Durban is a common place to go for December holiday. Durban is a algemene December vakantie plek. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get full access to a full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Tot ziens! Love these lessons? Want more? Then get the rest of these advanced listening lessons. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. You'll unlock the full course in seconds and start improving your listening skills right away. You also get audio and video lessons that get you speaking from your very first lesson and teach you real conversations, PDF lesson notes, cheat sheets, study tools, and much more. So click the link in the description below and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hello, it's me again, Christine. We're here today in the lesson, the top 25 Afrikaans phrases. So they're obviously the ones that you definitely want to know if you want to know Afrikaans. They're super simple, most of them, and easy to learn. The ones that everyone always like learns these words in all the different languages. So let's get started. Hello. 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 It's pretty straightforward. It's a greeting. It's what you say to everyone. It sounds the same as most languages, so it's pretty uh, an easy one to remember. Goeiemorgen. Goeiemorgen. Good morning. Goeiemorgen. Good morning. So, this one's a little bit hard because it's got the g sound, but in the morning, we're all feeling ugh anyway, so it's a great way, great time to use this. Practice it the next time you wake up in the morning and say hello to whoever you see the first thing in the morning and just say, Goeiemorgen. Goeiemiddag. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. So it's very similar to Goeiemorgen, but this time you're changing the second word to middag adding an extra ch in there because now by by middag time the day's hard and you, all you want is some lunch so you're adding more ch's in there and just saying goeiemiddag as if it's angry but try to say it with a smile and then it's even nicer goeiemiddag goeienacht goeienacht good night goeienacht good night so that's what you say before you go to bed, obviously. And by now, you're thinking of the dreams that you might have tonight or the comfy, warm bed that you're going to in a cold winter's day. Um, not like today, obviously. <laughs> but it's something that everyone wants to hear. It's nice to say it to the people around you before going to bed. Like, end your day on a nice, calm note by telling everyone around you. Goeie nacht. Wat is your norm? Wat is... Yo nom. What is your name? What is your nom? What's your name? So this is obviously the one that you want to know when you're going out in a new place, especially in South Africa or anywhere where you know there's Afrikaans people and you want to know who they are, what like know more about them. So it's always an easy icebreaker. What is your nom? Get to know their name, try to think of a way that you'll remember it by making up little anagrams in your head or whatever. It's what I usually do because I'm very bad at remembering names. But definitely a useful phrase to know. Ek is Christine. Ek is Christine. I'm Christine. And then if they ask you that question or if you've just asked that question, the likely response is Ek is Nam. I am Name.
So you'd insert your name, obviously, you wouldn't say Ek is Nam. You would say, I would say, Ek is Christine. I am Christine. So pretty simple response. But this your Nam, Ek is, and then say your name. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. So now you've said hello, you've said goeiemorgen, goeiemiddag, goeienacht, whatever, whatever time of day it is. You've asked them what their name is, you've told them what your name is, so now you're saying it's nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. It's a simple conversation going on here, so it's very important to know all these little phrases. Hoe gaan dit met jou? Hoe gaan dit met jou? How are you? Who gaan dit met jou? How are you? So now in the conversation, you're at that part where you've realized that they have a cool name, they seem pretty cool, and you want to know a little bit more about them. So you ask them, who gaan dit? And then remember to listen, because people always say this and then don't listen to the response or don't really care about the response. Only ask these things if you care, because it's, it's way nicer that way. Goed dankie, en met jou? Goed dankie. In met you. I'm fine, thanks. And you? And then the typical response, or hopefully the response because it's positive. Goed dankie, in met you. Goed dankie, in met you. I'm fine, thanks. And you? So that obviously follows the previous one, um, answering how you are doing and then asking back to the person because that's only polite. You don't want to be like, yeah, I'm fine, thanks, bye. You want to. Be polite, ask them how they're doing back if they asked it first. Otherwise, maybe don't say it if you asked it first because then it's just like a continuous cycle that's never ending. Asseblief. Asseblief. Please. Asseblief. Please. Very popular in South Africa because we're all very polite people here. But please remember, see, I said it there again. Please remember to be polite when you're asking for something or commenting on something that requires a please no it'll be a question so be polite remember your manners and say us a belief if you are looking for something Danke. Danke. thank you thank you thank you so there we go again with the politeness be very kind and warm when someone tells you something or compliments you or gives you an answer to that as a belief question that you just asked say thanks say donkey and if you can't remember the word think of a donkey that's how i always used to tell people and then just change the the sound a little bit because you can't say donkey you must say donkey yes yeah, welcome yay yeah, is welcome you're welcome yay yeah, is welcome you're welcome so that's the response if someone said danke to you, you're obviously going to say you're welcome, yes, welcome, because it wasn't such a schlep for you to tell them what they wanted and you don't mind telling them, so yes, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pretty straightforward. Yes. Positive response to something. So pretty easy. Nee. Near. No. Near. No. Also pretty straightforward, but try not to use it so much because it's going to be a downer on anyone, unless it's something definitely that needs a no for a response. But ya ja and near, pretty easy going, used quite often, so good ones to remember. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Very simple because it's the same as the English and most other languages, just like I said hello. Um, okay means, yeah, sure, okay, we'll do this, or okay, I'll have that for lunch, or okay, you make the plans. It's used every day in so many different ways, so it's easy to remember, okay. Verskoen my. Verskoen my. Excuse me. Verskoen my. 
Excuse me. This is a part of that politeness again. If you are leaving the table or you're walking away from something because you don't really like the conversation going on, you just politely say, Fish go in, mate. I said leaf as well if you want to be even more nice. Even nicer. Ek is jammer. Ek is jammer. I'm sorry. Ek is jammer. I'm sorry. So, unfortunately, this one means you've done something wrong or you've said something that's not so polite. But just be a human being and say sorry if a sorry is needed. And then remember, ek is jammer. Hoe laat is dit? Hoe laat is dit? What time is it? Who laat is dit? What's the time? This is funny. The translation isn't exactly what's the time, but that's how we say it here in South Africa. You literally say, how late is it? Because you're always late for something or you're always thinking it's later than it is. So try to remember it that way. We're always late. So that's why we say, who lot is it? Like, how late is it? Waar is die badkamer? Waar is die badkamer? Where is the restroom? Waar is die badkamer? Where is the restroom? This one you'll probably use when you're out at the restaurants or at a random friend's house that you've never been to before and you really need a wee. So you're going to be needing this one. So remember, waar is die badkamer? Wacht a biki. Wait a moment. Wacht a biki. Wait a moment. You're a little bit busy in a conversation and someone comes and chirps in and all you want to say is just hold on. So if you ever in these situations and you have friends that like to interrupt you, then maybe you should learn wach a biki. And you could always add asablief as well if you don't want to sound too rude and like cut offy. You can say wach a biki, asablief. Who feel cost it? Who feel cost Dit. How much is this? Who feel cost it? How much is this? Now you're in the shop. So you've been to the restaurants, you've been to friends' house, you've been everywhere, and now you're in the shops and you're seeing this beautiful new thing that you really want to buy. But, you know, you're on holiday, so you can't just be splurging money everywhere. So you're going to have to ask this question quite often. Who feel cost it? Help. 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 Luckily, this word, because it has so much going on and it's obviously urgent, is usually the same in most languages. So it's pretty straightforward if you know English. Help it sounds the same in Afrikaans and is used in the same way. Sien jou later. Sien jou later. See you later. Sien jou later. See you later. You finish at the restaurant, you're going home or at the shops or whatever, and you're saying, ciao, I'm going to see you later. Signor later. Um, obviously, one to use all the time comes alongside a goodbye. So remember, signor later. And maybe I'll see you later in some of the other videos. <laughs> Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Um, Directly translated, tot ziens means until I see you again, which is quite nice because you're always assuming that a good bye isn't a bad bye <laughs> and you will reconnect again at some point. So tot ziens means until next time, but it actually means goodbye. Ek weet nie. Ek weet nie. I don't know. Ek weet nie. I don't know. It's okay to not know. We don't all know everything. So it's a good, this is a good one to know. <laughs> if someone asks you a question or asks you directions and you don't know because you're just a tourist here, remember to say, Ek weet nie. I use this all the time and it irritates my friends, but I'm honest at least. So, Ek weet nie. So we've reached the end of today's lesson of the top 25 phrases in Afrikaans. I hope they're useful for you because they should be, we use them all the time, and I hope they're simple enough for you to remember. And good luck using them. Uh, I hope you meet loads of new people when you come to South Africa or speak to South Africans. And let me know in the comments down below if 
you have or if they've helped you or if you're struggling with any of the pronunciations or something like that remember to like follow subscribe and keep learning afrikaans on afrikaanspod101.com In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 Quora Afrikaans words and phrases video series. In this series, we will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you have learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is Blay. Happy. Blai. Blai. Happy. Because Blai is not sick. Ni. I'm happy that you're not sick anymore. Because Blai is not sick. Ni. Hartseer. Sad. Hartseer. Hartseer. Sad. My booty was hartseer because we could not have the hoenkies. My little brother was sad because we weren't allowed to keep the puppies. My booty was hard seer, want ons mag nie die winkies gehou het nie. Kwaad. Angry. Kwaad. Kwaad. Angry. Ek is kwaad vir my broer. I'm angry at my brother. Ek is kwaad vir my broer. Kleere. Clothing. Kleere. Kleere. Clothing. Die mannequins kleere is klein. The mannequins clothes are tiny. Die mannequins kleere is klein. Schoene. Shoes. Schoene. Shoes. Daar is omtrent 6 plus schoene in die kas. There are about six plus shoes in the closet. Daar is omtrein six plus schoene in die kas. Koos. Sok. Koos. K-oos. Sok. Die kouse is schoen. The socks are clean. Die kouse is schoen. Onderkleere. Underwear. Onderkleere. Onderkleere. Underwear. My kouse en onderkleere is in die woonste laai van my kas. My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser. My kouse en onderkleere is in die woonste laai van my kas. Praat. Talk. Praat. Praat. Talk. Ek sal nog met jou hier praat. I will still talk to you about this. Ek sal nog met jou hier oor praat. Gee. Give. Gee. Gee. Give. Ek gee baie van my tyd aan my ouers. I give a lot of my time to my parents. Ek gee baie tyd Van my tyd on my ouers. Laag. Low. Laag. Laag. Low. My suikervlakke is laag. My sugar levels are low. My suikervlakke is laag. Hoe. Hi. Hoe. Hi. The area is bekend for the worm misdaad cipher. This area is widely known for its high crime rate. 
Ti Aurea is bekend vir die hoë misdaad syfer. Vrug, fruit, vrug, vrug, fruit. Vars vruchte sap is een goeie manier om elke dag mee te begin. Fresh fruit juice is a great way to start any day. Vars vruchte sap is een goeie manier om elke dag mee te begin. Seekat, octopus. Seekat, seekat, octopus. Die seekat swem onder water. The octopus is swimming under water. Die seekat swem onder water. Hi, shark. Hai, ha ai, shark. Die haie jag vir kos in die vlak water. The sharks are hunting for food in the shallow water. Die haie jag vir kos in die vlak water. Walvis. Whale. Walvis. Walvis. Whale. Die walvisse kom op na boe vir lucht. The whales are coming up for air. Die walvisse kom op na boe vir lucht. Bewolk. Cloudy. Bewolk. Bewolk. Cloudy. Dit raak bewolk buite. It's getting cloudy outside. Dit Rock bewolk buiten. Koe. 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 Dit was meestal koe cool geweest gister. It was mostly cool yesterday. Dit was meestal koe cool geweest gister. Komkommer. Cucumber. Komkommer. Kom. Komkommer, cucumber. Die komkommer is lang en dun. This cucumber is long and thin. Die komkommer is lang en dun. Soet rissie. Bell pepper. Soet rissie. Soet rissie. Bell pepper. Die algemeenste soet rissie is groen, rooi of geel. The most common bell peppers are green, red or yellow. Die algemeenste soetrissie is groen, rooi of geel. Broccoli. 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 Jy moet een bykie broccoli eet. You should eat some broccoli. Jy moet een bykie broccoli eet. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you will need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens. Hello, I'm back. It's me, Christine. And today's lesson, the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. So it's going to be a difficult one. And remember to get those mouth muscles moving because we're going to be using them quite a bit in this lesson today. Goeie. Goeie. Good. Dit is goeie nies. That is good news. This one's hard to say because it's got the kh sound that's so popular in Afrikaans language. Um, just pretend that you're really angry or irritated at something and you're going, ugh, and then keep that sound and go, goeie, goeie. And it's a goeie thing to learn it because it's used all the time. News. 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 Ek het baie goeie news. I have very good news. I hope you have very goeie news to tell me because 
if you do, it means you've learned the kh and the noose, which is what makes that word a bit harder than others. So this one is e. You're going making this weird shape with your mouth. E. Goeie nies. Gebruik. Gebruik. Use. Can I use your car? Gebruik. Can I use your car? This one's a little bit as awkward as that question because you don't really want to give someone else your car just in case something happens, but you do because you're a nice person and they're your friend. So this is that word. You you really want to learn it because it's the word for using any word. So the word is gebruik, the g sound as before, and now we've added a new sound, oi, oi, gebruik. Rap. Rack. Shelf. The rack is full stuff. The shelf is full of dust. This word it has the it doesn't have the kh that we've been talking about, but now we've got a new sound in Afrikaans that a lot of people in different languages struggle with a little bit, and it's a rrr, as if your tongue is jumping up and down in your mouth. Rrr, rack. More. More. Morning. Ek gaan more kom keier. I'm going to come visit tomorrow. This one has a r like before. It's a little bit easier, but it just, you have to remember to read more, because in English it's spelled like more. So don't say more, say more. And the older generations of Afrikaans people, they might say it a little bit differently, and they sometimes say more. But it's more commonly used as more. Lekker. Lekker. Nice. Delicious. Die kos is baie lekker. This food is very nice. This word is a must. You must learn how to say this word. Lekker. Lekker. Because it is used all the time in South Africa. Everything is lekker. Not just the kos that we were just talking about. The weather is lekker, the party was lekker, the drink is lekker, my friends are lekker. It's just a word that we use all the time, so it's definitely lekker to know the word lekker. Roll. 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 Die pen het gerol. The pen rolled. This one is funny because roll, roll, all you have to do is roll your tongue on your mouth, so it makes the r sound like before. Roll. It's quite nice to say, actually, if you say it a couple of times in a row. Roll. Gek. Gek. Crazy. Die man is gek om te spring. The man is crazy to jump. You're saying that because you're watching some bungee jumping show or someone jumping out of an airplane. They are gek. And gek is also a bit of a gek word to know because it's like the g sound and the ek which means me, so it's like, you're saying you are gek, but you're not really. But it's a gek word. It's a gek lekker word. Crazy nice word. Lach. Lach. Laugh. Ek lach elke dag vir my hond. I laugh at my dog every day. Lach is such a lekker word. Um, to laugh is such, it's the greatest thing ever, so it's important to learn this word because... Maybe learning how to say it will make you laugh and then you'll have a happy memory and remember the word and it's a win-win situation. Ras. Ras. Noise. Die bure ras baie. The neighbours are very noisy. Just like me sitting here in the park today where there's a lot of people around me having picnics and everything and there's it's quite a lot of noise going on but at least the ras isn't too much for me to make this lovely video and teach you some Afrikaans. So, ras. So, we've made it to the end of the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. If you haven't managed them, that's okay. They're very hard, and like I said, they're the 10 hardest. So, keep on trying, keep using that mouth and 
say all those things, say it weirdly in the mirror, look at your mouth when you're saying them, and that sometimes helps because it helps your muscle memory to remember how to do them. And if you know any other words that you found that are hard to pronounce, put them in the comments below. Like these videos, please subscribe, and just keep learning Afrikaans with AfrikaansPod101.com. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. Hi everybody, my name is Ingrid. Welcome to the 800 Core Afrikaans Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Afrikaans. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at AfrikaansPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Afrikaans. Okay, let's get started. First is Kan. Can. 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 Daarom kan ons morgen laat slaap. At least we can sleep late tomorrow. Daarom kan ons morgen laat slaap. No. Zero. No. N o u. Zero. 0.5 grade. 0.5 degrees. 0.5 grade. 1. 1. 1. 1. Daar is 24 uur in een dag. There are 24 hours in one day. Daar is 24 uur in een dag. 2 2 2 2 2 Geef mij twee kaartjes alsjeblieft. Give me two tickets please. Geef mij twee kaartjes alsjeblieft. 3 3 Three. De three. Three. Jij hebt drie opties. You have three options. Jij hebt drie opties. Vier. Four. Vier. Vier. Four. Vier lawn motorweg. Four lane motorway. Four lane motorway. Five. 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 I 
5, 5. Die Sterfes het 5 biene. The starfish has 5 legs. Die Sterfes het 5 biene. 6, 6, 6. word elke ochtend 6 uur wakker. I wake up every morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Ek word elke ochtend 6 uur wakker. 7 7 7 7 7 Daar is 7 dae in elke week. There are 7 days in every week. Daar is 7 dae in elke week. 8 8 8 8 8 Ek het 8-jarige dochter. I have an 8-year-old daughter. Ek het 8-jarige dochter. 9 Nine. Nege. Nege. Nine. Die vliegtuig vertrek om nege uur. The plane will take off at nine o'clock. Die vliegtuig vertrek om nege uur. Tien. Tien. Dit is 300 yen vir 10 stukke. This is 300 yen for 10 pieces. Dit is 300 yen vir 10 stukke. Verkoopsman Salesman Verkoopsman Verkoopsman Salesman Hy is a verkoopsman. He is a salesman. Hy is a verkoopsman. Bestuurder. Manager. Bestuurder. Bestuurder. Manager. Die fabriek bestuurder gee instructies. The factory manager is giving instructions. Die fabriek bestuurder gee instructies. Head cook. With cook. Engineer. 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 Ek is a engineer. I am an engineer. Ek is a engineer. Programmeerder. Programmer, programmeerder, programmeerder, programmer. Ek is a programmeerder. I am a programmer. Ek is a programmeerder. Verpleegster, nurse. Verpleegster, verpleegster, nurse. Die vrou is een verpleegster. The woman is a nurse. Die vrou is een verpleegster. Lichaam. Body. Lichaam. Lichaam. Body. Menselijke lichaam. Human body. Menselijke lichaam. Head. Kop. Kop. Head. Dra a helmet om jou kop te beskerm. Wear a helmet to protect your head. Dra a helmet om jou kop te beskerm. 
Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at AfrikaansPod101.com to get access to full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens! Hi guys, it's me Christine, and we're doing Afrikaans today on AfrikaansPod101.com in today's lesson 10 favorite words chosen by the fans, which is hopefully you guys. So I hope you enjoy your 10 favorite words. Donkey. Thanks. Donkey. Donkey. Thanks. Donkey for your tight. Donkey for your tight. Thank you for your time. Donkey. I also love that word. It sounds a little bit like donkey in English. Um, so I can see why you chose that word. Donkey is such a nice thing to say after anything, whenever anyone helps you or does something for you. So remember, politeness is key and always say donkey. See, it's the key. Donkey. Hello. 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 Var was jij? Hello. Var was jij? Hello. Where were you? This is what you're saying to your friend on a night out, like, oh, where were you last night? Hello, where were you? Um, it's an easy one to remember. It sounds very much like the English. So, hello, var was jij? Where were you? It's even structured the same. So, you can see why you guys picked it. And I also quite like that sentence because it, it teaches you about the people that you hang out with. See where they've been. <laughs> Vakansi. Vacation. Vakansi. Vakantie. Vacation. Ek wil nou met vakantie gaan. Ek wil nou met vakantie gaan. I want to go on holiday now. So people probably say that all the time, which is probably why it's one of the favorites, because vakantie, I mean, who doesn't love a holiday? Um, and who doesn't want to go on one right now? Like, I want to be on one right now. But luckily, I'm going on one soon. So vakantie. Let us know if you're going on a vakantie anytime soon, or if you just want to go on one right now. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. Goeiemiddag. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. Goeiemiddag. Can I help? Goeiemiddag. Can I help? Good afternoon. Can I help you? So this is a good one to answer the phone or if you just bump into someone and they're like looking at you like, you're like, hello, can I help you? <laughs> it's, it's very easy to remember. Goeiemiddag, if you've learned those two, you're set. Kan ek help, sounds the same. Help is the same. Can I ek. So kan ek help. And hopefully you can. Hopefully you can give them some directions or just tell them that they have a smidge on their face or whatever help everyone in any way you can but try to be polite about it so that they can say donkey South Africa South Africa South Africa South Africa South Africa South Africa is the moiste land South Africa is the moiste land South Africa is the prettiest country I do agree with you there, guys. Thanks, fans. Um, hopefully, if you're learning Afrikaans on here, you are either planning on or you're living here or you have been and you got inspired coming to South Africa. Um, it's such a great place. It really is the moister land. So when you come here, make sure you go see all the natural places and all the all those lists that you find on Google and ask some locals, like write on the comments down here, ask us and we'll let you know what some nice places are to come visit in South Africa. Gesond. Healthy. Gesond. Gesond. Healthy. Die paard like baie gesond. Die paard like baie gesond. The horse looks very healthy. This is quite a funny sample sentence that we've given here because we're talking about a horse, like, where did that come from? But actually in Afrikaans there's a saying, um, which means you are just 
healthy and up and going. So that's probably why we've used Pert here. But the Pert is gesond, which is always good. I hope you guys are all very gesond and not sick in this change of weather time. Coffee. 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 Can I three coffees cry as a belief? Can I three coffees cry as a belief? Can I have three coffees, please? Sure, it's been a it's been a long day if you're asking for three coffees. Uh, maybe you're socializing and you're getting them for your friends. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a very easy word to remember. Coffee, coffee. It's just a little bit of a different pronunciation. But if you're not a coffee person, tea is the same. Also, tea, tea. Um, I'm a coffee person and I'm very excited to go make my third coffee of the day. Probably a little bit unhealthy, but um, need my energy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy your third coffee as well. Geld. Money. Geld. Geld. Money. Ek wil meer geld verdien. Ek wil meer geld verdien. I want to earn more money. Well, sir or madam, if you want to meer geld verdien, then you're going to have to work harder or work more or start working if you're not working. Try find a job or something that you can do that, that you love and then it doesn't, doesn't feel like, oh, it's such a struggle to get that extra dollar to go traveling. I mean, if you do something you love, then you won't work a day in your life and then you'll earn money and it won't feel bad. I love doing this, so um, I hope you guys have the same luck as I sometimes do. Gesondheid. Cheers. Gesondheid. Gesondheid. Cheers. <laughs> Gesondheid. Kom ons kry nog een. Gesondheid. Kom ons kry nog een. Cheers. Let's get another one. <laughs> so you're out. That's another thing we like doing here, especially after watching the Lions rugby. You go, oh, cheers, we won or we lost or whatever, however they're doing. And you go grab another because <laughs> why not? If not, why not? Liefde. Love. Liefde. Liefde. Love. My hond ken net liefde. My hond ken net liefde. My dog only knows love. Oh, that's so true. I mean, if you have a dog or a cat or any kind of pet that you have at the in the house all the time, it's so nice. Like, you can have an argument with anyone. You can have the worst day ever, but you know when you get home, you're going to get that cuddle. You're going to get that love from your little pet. Um, so hopefully your pets are as lovable as mine and your dogs also can net liefde. So we've come to the end of today's lesson of 10 favorite words chosen by the fans. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as the words that you've obviously chosen. Uh, let me know if you've had any issues in the comments below. Please subscribe, like, do all those things. But most of all, please keep learning Afrikaans on AfrikaansPod101.com. Anne-Marie. Hi everybody, I'm Anne-Marie. Welcome to AfrikaansPod101.com, Afrikaans in 3 minutes, the fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Afrikaans. In the last lesson, you learned the numbers 1 to 10. Have you forgotten? Here, I'll tell you again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now let's continue from 11. Elf. Elf. 12. 12. Dertin. Dertin. Fiertin. Fiertin. Fiftin. Fiftin. Sestin. Sestin. Seventin. Seventin. Achtin. Achtin. Negentien, negentien. These numbers may seem harder to remember, but a lot of them are just the numbers 1 to 9 you learned from the last lesson, 
with tin added to the end. The rest you will have to memorize. Let's not stop here. Counting from 20 to 100 is super easy. First, I'll give you the tens. Twintig, twintig, dertig, dertig, veertig, veertig, vijftig, vijftig, zestig, zestig, zeventig, zeventig, tachtig, tachtig, negentig, negentig. Again, notice that all the numbers start with a number that we've learned from the last lesson, or a variation of it. This time, it is followed by tig, for example, vijftig, which means 50. It is composed of vijf, which means 5, and tig, 50. Here's another example, vijftig, which means 40. It is composed of vier, which is a variation of vier, the word for 4, and tig. The last thing to learn in this lesson is how to form compound numbers above 20. For example, how would you form a number like 56, which is a combination of two numbers we've already learned? This is actually quite easy to do. All you need is the numbers you want to combine and the Afrikaans word for and, n. Let's try it out. Let's say the word for 56 step by step. 50 is 50. 6 is ses. And finally, you just need n, meaning and, to combine them. Ses en vijftig. Ses en vijftig. But be careful, as you can see, instead of placing the single digit after the tens, like in English, you place the number in front of the ten. So ses en vijftig can literally be translated as six and fifty. Now it's time for Anne Marie's tips. Did you make it until number ninety nine? Here is another number you might want to know. Hundred. Hundred. That's 100 in Afrikaans. It sounds a lot like the English 100, so it shouldn't be too hard to remember. Congratulations! Now you're able to count to 100 in Afrikaans. In the next lesson, we're going to put your number knowledge to use. Do you have all the skills you need to go shopping in South Africa and only speak in Afrikaans? If not, I'll see you in our next Afrikaans in 3 minutes lesson. Lekker dag! Amal, Ekis Anne-Marie. Hi everybody, I'm Anne-Marie. Welcome to AfrikaansPod101.com's Afrikaans in 3 Minuten, the fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Afrikaans. In the previous lesson, you learned how to introduce yourself in Afrikaans. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to thank people. Remember, good manners are important. Are you ready? Let's start. Saying thank you in Afrikaans is very easy. It's just one word, danki, danki. To say thank you very much, you just need to add baya, meaning a lot, at the beginning. Baya danki, baya danki. What if someone says danki to you? How do you answer? It's easy. Here is the most common response. Dit is a plaisir. Dit is a plaisir. Dit is a plaisir can be used with just about anybody. Literally, this phrase means happily done or I did it with pleasure. So when someone says danki to you, you can simply reply with dit is a plaisir. Now it's time for Anne-Marie's tips. If you're not sure about whether to use danki or buy a danki, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. Just say danki. You don't have to worry about saying the long version. The difference between the two depends only on how grateful you are or how much someone has helped you. Do you know what totsins means? I'll be waiting to tell you about it in the next Afrikaans in Drie Minute lesson. Lekker dag! Now that you're finished with this lesson, don't forget, as a free bonus, you get over 30 conversation cheat sheets, but only if you sign up via the link in the description. You'll learn how to have flowing conversations and how to answer the most common questions. You can also print out these colorful cheat sheets to keep as physical study material. So don't miss out on this free gift. 
click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get your PDF cheat sheets.